time when the world was young and demons ran unfettered across the face of the earth, the powers that be chose a young woman, one girl in all the world, to combat the forces of darkness. Upon her death, the power passed to another, and another, down over the millennia, time when the world was young. time when the world was young and demons ran unfettered across the face of the earth, the powers that be chose a young woman, one girl in all the world, to combat the forces of darkness. Upon her death, the power passed to another, and another, down over the millennia, with each girl inheriting the power of her predecessor, the power of the... And I still know the <laughs> I feel like Buffy is one of the only TV series that I watched as a kid um, that I like or even when I watch it back now like you'd hear it like on do you know, let me start again when I watched it as a kid you'd hear the opening song come on and you were just like oh my god like you'd sprint into the front room and just like break it down because it's such a great intro but like I really, I recently watched through the Buffy series, and it's one of the only series I watched through again. I think it was on, it was either on like Prime or Netflix. It was on one of the streaming platforms, and I must admit, it's like you know when it comes up and it's like skip the intro. Never, never once did I skip the intro to the Buff to the to the watching Buffy. Every single episode, I sat there for like however long that is, what like almost a minute long or something. I don't know, but like every single time, I sat through. 
the intro because it's just too and it's oh so good so freaking good hello everyone sorry <laughs> today we are going to be playing uh some buffy the vampire slayer on the original xbox um i'm super excited unfortunately i um lost my save for this i was playing through this recently and was really enjoying it and then um yes hang on xander wait no not xander giles sorry Bear with me one second. He, otherwise, he's going to keep chatting away. Let me um, just mute him for a sec. Um, yeah, so basically what happened was I was playing through this uh, on an emulator. I think it was. And um, it messed up and uh, it lost my save. And I was very angry because I was doing really well. And it's a very difficult game to try and play through. So, uh, yes. So instead, we are starting again uh, from scratch. And hopefully it will uh, work properly and it won't mess up it sounded like it might have a couple of auditory auditory issues possibly um but fingers crossed it works okay because this game is is so fun and if you played this as a kid um or even if you watched the show just the nostalgia from the the music and the characters is so good um but if you played the game Honestly, like the nostalgia that comes back from playing this game is so good. It's the sound effects, I think. It's the the little, like, you know, when you pick something up or you use a potion or something like that. Just these little sound effects that every time I heard them, I was like, oh, like the feels, the good feels, you know? Um, oh, it's so good. But yes, hello, Shadow Star, hello. So glad that you got the uh, notification. Scarlet, hello. Kalein, hello. Uh, almost given up and gone back to bed five more minutes. Oh no, I'm sorry, Clay. You should have gone to bed. You should have gone to bed. You should have rested. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I said I was going to be streaming tonight. I know I was a little bit late. I got caught in. I'm really tired again, and I got caught in a friggin' like TikTok loop. And I was just like, five more minutes. Five more minutes. I'll be okay. Um, but that's my fault. I apologize, guys. Bunthorn, hello. How are you doing? Uh, I hope you catch up on the days. I hope you can catch up on the days that Kirsten doesn't stream. Yeah, I'm hoping. I remember all this stuff will be going on to my YouTube, guys. So if you haven't already, please go and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I've been putting it. Uh, they've I've been putting them all on there. I'm gonna take this down because I can literally like. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> See if I can just turn it down for a sec. There we go. Um. But yeah, uh, so they will all be going on my YouTube. I've been trying to do clips and stuff like that and putting them on um, uh, over on YouTube. But literally before I came on here, I realized I, I, I very quickly did this little like Five Nights at Freddy's joke to this audio that was like trending on um, on Instagram. And uh, I uploaded it like a few hours ago and just kind of didn't think it. And it's always the way with my, my content. I'll upload something that was like zero effort and um, was just like, oh, I'll upload that because like I think it's funny or I'm just like, ah, oh, it's relatable. And I'll upload it. And all of a sudden it's had like all these retweets and people are saving it and sharing it. And it's had like 10K views in like a few hours. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> I'll put all these effort into like photo shoots and stuff like that and like editing myself to look like Link from Zelda and everything like that and I'm like oh that looks amazing but like nobody's gonna give a shit I know full well nobody's gonna give a shit and then I do a I do a video that's like what five or six seconds long of me with like no makeup on pretending that I'm watching the Five Nights at Freddy's movie and everyone's like yes yes <laughs> blow it up <laughs> like what the hell <laughs> zombie rave indeed uh, that gave me serious nostalgia. I need to go back and watch Buffy and Angel again. Yes, do it, Scarlet. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, I can't remember what it was streaming on. It was definitely on a streaming platform and I binge watched like the entire series. Oh, it was so good. And like I said, I never skipped an intro. So when I say binge watched, like that took me a while. <laughs> Bumthorn, Daniel, hello. Jordan, hello. Hope you're feeling better. I am. Yeah, I'm definitely starting to feel better. But yeah, still feeling like really tired. I'm definitely not 100%. And the reason I know I'm not 100% is because I've actually been sleeping well. Um, I really struggle to like, I have like, just not great sleep um, all the time. Like I just can't get comfy. It takes me forever to go to sleep. And then when even I do sleep, I'm like constantly waking up. And it's so frustrating. I feel like I never get a proper good night's sleep. But the last few days, I've actually been like going to bed. As soon as my head hits the pillow, I'm asleep. And I'm sleeping like the entire night through and waking up and just being like, oh, I'm all comfy and cozy. Like what a good night's sleep. And I know that the reason I'm getting a good night's sleep is probably because I'm not very well. And it's so sad to think that the only time I'm actually gonna get a decent night's sleep is when I've got a cold or something. Yeah, that's bad. Not even 10 minutes in and we've already got a clip. Oh yes. Thank you, Shadow Star. I appreciate it. Good old Shadow Star, clipping away. Brilliant. 
good opening credits are a great benefit to any show. The new Battlestar Galactica was it was that for me? Yeah, I like. I know there's a lot of really good ones. Like um, my grandma was watching through um, uh, some of the old Star Treks recently. She really enjoys Star Trek, and I was never one for Star Trek. My dad watched it a lot. Um, Star Wars and Star Trek, he was like obsessed with. I was almost named after. Um, a, a Star Trek character, but I can't remember um, which one. But yeah, I was almost named after one of them. Um, Scott, thank you so much for resubscribing. 17 months. Oh my goodness. Sorry, let me scroll down. Hey, hey, hey. How are you doing? Um, hope you're doing good, Scott. But yeah, I was almost named after a Star Trek character. But yeah, I, one of the... And it was like, really like brought back some nostalgia for me because even though I didn't watch the show, like... The, like I just have childhood memories of the song in one of the um, one of the Star Trek like uh, openings, but I, I honestly I can't remember what the song is. But as soon as it started playing, I was just like sing along with it, and I was like I I can't even tell you what this song is, but like I just just knew it. I just knew it. Buffy, I see. Hello, Crow. How are you doing today? Um, you have my attention. Oh yes, good old, uh, good old Buffy. Fat Rat Man, hello. How are you doing today? It's more fun in the company of the horde, but do catch up on VOD when I miss it. Yes, yeah. If you need to get some sleep, please, please feel, uh, uh, get some sleep. The pop and nail life lesson, never try. <laughs> um, yeah, but pretty much, uh, I, I honestly, I cannot even begin to, like, the the content that has always done well on my um on my socials and stuff is either stuff where i'm like in a bikini or something obviously that's gonna do well because if you're in a bikini gets attention um but obviously like i try to sort of get away from that sort of stuff and do things that i think are just fun or like horror related or um just kind of do cosplays that i'm more kind of comfortable doing and you know i work really really hard on them and it just never seems like i get stuff but yeah the ones that i like even the one that I had, um, which did, like was kind of like my famous one, was um, the um, the pumpkin bikini that I wore like w like a couple of Halloweens ago or something. And I did all these different photo shoots over Halloween, and they took me so long. And I put all this effort in for the photo shoot and the costumes and the makeup, and I edited them and I did all these cool things with the background and stuff. And then I knew because uh, I was doing thirty one days of Halloween, I knew I had to get something up, and I had this pumpkin bikini, and I was like, ah, um, okay. So I quickly just set up a bunch of uh, the pumpkins that I had already like um, been scavenging over Halloween that I, I got and went pumpkin picking, put them by my back door, sat down in this pumpkin bikini, took like, like, I don't know, five or 10 minutes to just quickly take a few shots. I was like, yeah, they'll do. Edited them on my phone, like sent it from my camera to my phone because we had to go out. Edited them on my phone. I was like, yeah, that'll do. Uploaded one. And just like forgot about it, just was like, yeah, that'll do, that's fine. I'm in a bikini. People are, you know, you know, it's a similar sort of content as to what all the other stuff that I do. I didn't. It was just so little effort. Put it up there, and then all of a sudden, it's just like blew up. It's like all these likes, all these comments, all these shares, and I was just like, that was the least amount of effort I put into any of my photo shoots ever. And it's just so weird how it's just like in my eyes, I look at these other ones and I think that looks so much cooler to me. And I put so much more effort into that. And I've got these really cool backgrounds going on. And, it, and you know, I make it look like I've like stepped out of the game or stepped out of the movie or something. And nobody gives a shit. Nobody gives a shit how much time you spend on something. If you literally do something where you're just like, here you go. I've just taken a selfie and I'm in a bikini or whatever. They're just like, oh, yes, queen. And I'm just like, what? I don't understand. <laughs> but... Hey, that's that's the way the work. Yeah, two minutes of TikTok fame is uh, worth not much. People remember the work that you put in. I mean, I hope so. I hope so. Um, but it's just it's just interesting to me. Um, there was also one that I did that again took me maybe like five or ten minutes to edit, but I thought it was like a funny idea, and it was me pretending to fall up the stairs. Like you know when you trip as you're falling up the stairs. And people are like, how do you fall up the stairs? I know how you fall down the stairs. How do you fall up the stairs? So I made a joke and was like, like this. And but I edited it to make it look like I flew off, like I sort of tripped and then flew into these into like space. And I I thought it was funny. I was like, ha, that's funny. A couple of people might get a chuckle out of that. And then I like put it on TikTok, and again, it just like blew up, and people were just like. I wasn't expecting that. That was so funny. Like, and I was just like, I mean, I thought it was funny, but I didn't think other people would actually find it that funny. But I think it was the, the, um, it was just unexpected. So people were just like, oh, here we go. Here, how is she going to fall up the stairs? And I did this little like, whoop, like sound as I flew up. And, um, it's a funny video. I think it's funny. Apparently other people kind of thought it was funny, but it blew up. And I was just like, what? It's a and even though it did take me a little bit of time because I had to kind of cut myself out and then kind of edit myself flying off into space. Um, 
Yeah, I know. That's what I was just saying, Scott. My new Instagram post just blew up and I was just like, I don't... <laughs> it took me like five minutes. Like, I haven't actually seen... I know it said it had like 10k views, but I haven't actually, um... Like... Looked at it. Yes, yeah, so it's got a thousand likes, which is, you know, pretty good for a reel, I would say. Um, and then it's had, um... 12 comments, pretty good, but pit, like 25 shares, which is pretty good for one of my reels, to be honest. Um, and yeah, but it's literally just me, just, I don't even know if you can like see it, but it's like people watching, people who haven't played the game watching Five, Night, Five Nights at Freddy's, and then people who have played the game watching the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And it, that took me like a minute, to, <laughs> it took me like a minute to film it, maybe another minute to quickly edit it and cap cut and put the um the what's it called like the writing and stuff on it because when you try and do it through instagram it sucks and uh yeah 10 10k 10k views in uh two hours or whatever i uploaded i don't even know what the <laughs> it's on hulu yes go watch B uh, buffy on hulu guys uh is this chaos bleeds or the other one so this is the first one so this is just buffy the vampire slayer which is the first game and then chaos bleeds is the second one if we can somehow manage to complete this game i will be so happy because i never managed to do it as a kid because it was it's it's hard even playing through this recently this is a difficult game to play because a lot of the old games <clears throat> they don't give you much indication of where you're supposed to be going or what you can do in certain areas if you know what i mean so um i do get lost a lot so if i do get lost and you have played this game please feel free to let me know um because yeah it will definitely um it will definitely happen uh gonna move my laptop downstairs and make some flat oh nice flatbread it's delicious i love the video of you falling up the stairs thank you shadow star um nearly 2000 likes i know it's just crazy do you want uh do you want mine too what likes uh, i'll take i'll i'll take all the likes give me all your likes <laughs> Um, but yeah, there you go. So, you know, more of the story is, um, you know, do what you enjoy, but, um, you know, don't feel like, you know, if you want to put effort in, put effort in, but do it for you. Don't do it for other people. Do you know what I mean? Do what you want to do because it makes you happy and put the effort in because you want to do it. Um, but the moral of the story is a lot of the time you don't really have to put a lot of effort or time or money into something for it to, to do well. There you go. <laughs> I only played Curse Please and I got stuck as hell, um on a late level yeah i mean i don't think I, when i played this as a kid even the first game i don't think i even even got past like the first couple of levels because i got stuck in a certain area and i had no idea where to go and it turns out it's because i had to like jump onto this pole and shimmy across but it never gave me any indication as to that's what i was supposed to do or even was able to do because it just didn't do that it's like i was saying recently there's like a lot of games nowadays, they kind of hold your hand a little bit, which is, I, I like that because again, otherwise I get lost for ages and then I'll never go back to the game. But like, they don't have that in old games. And it really, I feel like you needed to kind of have that when you got stuck in certain areas just for the game to be like, oh, hey, maybe I should try that door up there. Like if you've been stuck in the same area and you're not progressing for at least half an hour or something, you know, at least give me a clue and be like, maybe I should go over there. Maybe I should try this. Oh, that that pole looks shimmyable. You know, it's just, but not having anything and you're just there like, especially before like being able to properly look stuff up on the internet or even know what a walkthrough was. I was just like, well, that's, that's the end of Buffy for me then, I guess. <laughs> Just, I guess I'll never play that anymore. Right, cool. Um, so yeah, there we go. Social media fame doesn't last though, sadly. Uh, give it one day in the most... Popular. Oh yeah, yeah, they're definitely gone. You'd have to keep doing it all the time. But um, but yeah, you know, when, when you're trying to sort of get your content out there for, for people to see and, you know, that's the only thing. It's, it's not about the fame, it's about sharing your content and, uh, you know, and hopefully you can kind of have new faces and um sort of see your content that's what that's what it is it's not about the fame it's about being able to share your content and then they share your content do you know what i mean it's like um it's all well and good having people having the regulars which i you know i love having you guys always be there i know you guys will always be there and that's what means the most to me but when you're trying to progress within a career and you know that it's all about sharing content and having other people then be like oh this is great i'm going to share it with this person or i'm going to share it with that person and all you need is that one person who's in like you know that industry to see it and be like oh yeah that's good like you know I'll, I'll hit her up and and see if we can work together that's what i'm sort of aiming for it's not about the fame it's about who i can work with to kind of progress to where i want to be and 
you know, you can't do that without other people sharing your content. And unfortunately, that doesn't sort of seem to happen as often as I'd like it to. Um, and especially on things that I'd like it to. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, but, you know, if it brings people in and they go, ha, huh, that's cool, I'm going to see what other stuff uh, they make, then, you know, that's fine. That, that's what I'm after. It's, uh, it's, just getting your foot, it's just getting your foot in the door so that someone goes, I'm going to see what other stuff they do. Because um, that's what I do. If I see something that's funny and I'm like, oh, that's funny, I'm gonna, I wonder what other stuff they do. And sometimes it's stuff that's completely different. Sometimes it's stuff that's same and you're like, oh, cool. But sometimes it's like, oh, that was obviously a one-off video. Actually, their other stuff isn't as funny or isn't as good or isn't the sort of stuff that I would like to watch or enjoy. So, you know, oh, I won't go back to it. But a lot of like cosplayers and things like that that I've come across is because I've seen a reel or a picture or something, checked out their other work and I'm like, oh my God, yes, love them and give them a follow. And that's, that's how it kind of, you know, that's how you kind of progress. Uh, can't you just stick the pointy end in the vampires? You can, but I mean, like, if you're stuck, sometimes all you can all you can do is take the right account to share. Yeah, exactly. All it takes is, yeah, having the right account to share your work, and there you go. Um, but yeah, no, but the area that I got stuck on, it wasn't like, oh, I didn't know who to kill, or I was dying all the time. I literally got stuck and was like, I don't know where to go. I know where I have to go, but I don't know how to get there, and there was no indication of how to get there. And yeah, it's because I had to jump from, like, one bit down to another I'll, I'll show you i'll show you because it will be very soon in it was very early on in the game so that just shows you like how how quick it is to get stuck and i will show you i'm pretty sure there is no indication as to that is what you're supposed to do um and there's not even like a like a tutorial area like sometimes they give you a tutorial and it's like oh you know why don't you try jumping to that pole and shimmying across and then later on you're like ah i know i can do that so let's see if there's any poles to shimmy across it doesn't give you that. It's just all of a sudden, oh, by the way, did you know you could do that? And it's like, no, I did not know I could do that. Thank you. <laughs> I think I remember the bit you're talking about. It's very early on in the game. I think it's after you, it's after you meet Spike and you have like a little fight with Spike and then he takes Willow, I think. And you have to try and get up to a certain level to go through a door to find Willow. But I could never figure out how to get to that door. And yeah, I, I will show you. I will show you. Allow me to show you. Let me turn up the music here. Okay. Oh, there he is. It's Spike. It's our boy. So yeah, like I said, there may be some audio issues because this is a very old game. Um, but let me know if you can't see or hear anything because, um, again, uh, I only have one monitor now, unfortunately. So, because everything keeps breaking, which is awesome. More money that I don't have. Um, so, yes, let's get in. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So, again, my save is completely gone. So, uh, we're going to start completely fresh. Is this on comp? It is, indeed. Okay, we're going to go easy, because I don't... <laughs> we're never going to make it through the game otherwise. It's difficult enough. Some of these fights are hard. Giles, tell me again why the latest Slayer aptitude test has to be held in the ass end of nowhere. This is a crucial part of your training as Slayer, Buffy. Ooh, 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 ooh. At least as far as the Council is concerned. Please do try to stay focused. This test is extremely challenging and comes with its share of peril. Don't they all? Yes, now then. The first part of the test is an obstacle ooh, course ooh. of sorts. Make your way to the church and find your way inside. It isn't quite Dark as Alliance. As What's that? I've never heard of that show. I'll meet you inside. Best of luck. Oh, Chase face. Sure. Yes, you should definitely try and play it if you can. The church and I'm out it's here such a good game. Girl. Plus, it's original voice actors. Original. Yeah, that was just about to say, Crow. Original uh, voice actors for the uh, for the game here, which is just oh, so good. Uh, let me just see subtitles. We'll put subtitles on, just for any of you that want to. Um, just so you guys don't miss anything, because you guys know what I'm like. So, move the right thumbstick to move the camera, blah, 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 and press L to reset. Nope, that's not. Pull the L trigger to reset. Ah, there we go. Push, okay. Push into ledges. Press B to jump. That's annoying. Ah, okay. such dry hands today guys I'm sorry I'm, I keep itching my hands whoa press uh, run and press jump how do I run I am running right 
don't think I can run any ha faster. Hoi! Nope. Come on, Buffy. <laughs> uh, this is what I mean with this game. It's it's so finicky and it's so frustrating. Ah! Uh! Okay, this did not take this long before, but I do remember having problems with this. Right, run and press B to jump and grab hold of the edge. I am. I am doing it. Okay, well, you didn't even jump that time, Buffy. <sighs> Already having issues. Good, good. It doesn't help that I've got a big lamp glaring at me in the face, so I'm struggling to see here. Dark Alliance is one of the games from the Elder Scrolls Baldur's Gate, but Baldur's Gate got brought by Dungeons and Dragons. Got bought. Oh, okay. I really enjoyed playing Dark Alliance 2 with my dad when I was in primary school. I've never heard of it. Interesting. Press Y to activate an object. This is such a weird button choice. Got to be a clue around here somewhere. Is it this glowy on, thing? Buffy. Lantern. Place lantern on pedestal by pressing Y. Ooh, glowy blocks. Hydrate, thank you very much, Crow. I shall. Let me get, get up these stairs. Ladder. Step. Ladder. <laughs> yeah. Grab the torch again. Could come in handy. Shall. Could come in handy. There's a line um, that Buffy says in, uh, I think it's this game. Or... Come to me, Slay. Loving the prepare to die ambience. <laughs> uh, either, it's either this one or Chaos Bleeds, but it's like when she tries to um, open a door and it won't open, she goes, what budge ain't gonna happen. And um, I still say that to, to this, to the day, to this day. Still say it. Slayer. Is this the one you played quite recently but didn't get very far? I recall you being in the school. Um, I think I was... Uh -oh. I, step. I did play... I got pretty far, actually. I don't know if I did it on stream, though. But um, I did get pretty far, but I lost my save, unfortunately, Scott. Uh, the game corrupted, and I, compl I lost everything. I lost everything. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, I, I, I'm still, it was still an achievement to get to the point that I got to, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I do remember even the bit that I was on, I had to stop because I was like, I don't know where to go. Nope, nah, nada, big goose egg. Oh, really? <laughs> Zip, zero, zilch, the big goose egg, which is one of Xander's lies in, yeah, chaos bleeds. Yeah, uh, Xana has some really good one-liners in uh, Chaos Bleeds. I'm afraid you'll simply have to improvise with your fists and feet while I search for a weapon. Showtime. Boom. You want a piece of me? I'll give you that. Whole damn pie. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh, wow. You can tell just how, how much I played this. <laughs> hey. Pointy wooden object. My best friend. Oh, she didn't get to finish it. You interrupted my monologue. This does seem familiar. I think I've seen you do this before. Oh, maybe I did go through it. I don't think I did it on my main one, though. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Showtime proceeds to get destroyed. Do I get a cookie? Rendezvous with me at the front of the church, but keep an eye out. There's a vampire nest within, and you must vampire proceed nest. with caution. Spray him. Spray him with caution. holy water. My middle name. Only, Only not really. Me. Learn more about special attacks. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good. Shiny. Oh, no, was it pointy? Pointy wooden object. My best friend. I need to hit that with something. And stunning how often I get to say that. Oh, nice. Definitely familiar with Giles being up high talking to you, yeah. One of my work colleagues was a vampire. He was a real pain in the neck. Ah. Now, though, and due to these bloodsuckers, what the Doomslayer regularly does to demons. Thank you very much, cursed Gil! 14, zombie heart cursed 14, zombie cursed 14 roar. <laughs> how are you doing, Gil? 
Thank you so much for being subscribed for 29 months. Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> 29 months, girl. Thank you so much. How are you doing, my friend? Need a key. Damn those city monsters. Don't trust anybody. Mm. Oh. Okay. So this is what I mean. Sometimes I forget that I can climb on stuff. I need to remember that I can climb things. Oh, not not that though, but <laughs> Just because I said you can climb climb things doesn't mean you should. Oh. Hey. I don't know the viewers, my sister really loves uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm doing good, thank you, Gil. Die already. No, down there. He's down there, Buffy. There he is. Don't worry. There we go. You got this. That sound. Oh, so good. I feel like a new slayer. I feel like a new slayer. I, I, I remember her saying California girls. that a lot. Where are you? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, you scared me, you little shit. So good. All right, check the Slayer style. Check the Slayer style. Bum bum, bum bum. Surprised you've never done a Buffy cosplay? Oh, I know. I will. I think when it gets to Halloween, I will do some Beyond like proper retro cosplays. But yeah, I, will, I I need to do a Buffy one, hundred percent. I've, I've done Willow. Will I mean, I wish, but I've cosplayed you. Willow. These are not traditional keys, but engraved stone. I've already found one. Now you must find and retrieve the others, which are hidden here in the church. An Easter egg hunt. Oh, joy. Will you be wearing a bunny suit? Buffy, please try to focus. <laughs> the levity is Buffy, appreciated, but God this is sake, a crucial shut... part of this exercise. I'll aid you if I can. I shall begin searching at the back of the church. Thanks. Trust me. I'm focused. Making with the funny is just a way to shake off the wiggins this place has given me. There's something we all wish. <laughs> me. Actually, I think it's quite charming. Giles, to worry about, I'm something sure. wrong with you? Actually, I also think it's quite charming. Could come in handy. Looks like something is supposed to be placed in here. See, at least she does that there. But like later on, she doesn't do stuff. Like if you go up to something like a door, she'll be like, "Looks like I need a key," or "Looks like I have to do this." But like if you're just genuinely stuck as to where to go. Like, they don't say anything. It's not like, maybe I should look over there, or maybe I should find, uh, you know, if there's any hidden doors or something. Like, they just don't. Congratulations, Buffy. You're doing very well thus far. Thanks. Now we come to an opportunity for you to demonstrate your marksmanship with the crossbow. Hello, Mark, Jiggy. How are you? Let's see if you can dust Slayer. them from a distance. Long distance dusting. New Olympic event. Okay. L to aim the crossbow in first person. Move the left thumbstick to aim. Oh gosh. And R to trigger. Oh blimey, this is. Oh, ho, 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 hey, hey, hang on it. Whoa. Oh, okay, not hold it down. Oh, that was lucky. Oops. I did it again. <laughs> Oops. I did it again. Yeah, I see, I see it. I did not realize you could zoom in twice. I, do believe your aim I is think I had problems with that one before That's and I couldn't me. find where the heart was. And I was like, this is going to take forever. And it did. <laughs> uh, yeah, didn't realize I could zoom in twice. Wait, what did he want me to do? What did he say? Oh god, what did he say? What did you say, Giles? I wasn't listening. Oh, I think I just need to go get that tablet, I guess. Use the D-pad to switch weapons. What else have I got? Oh, there we go. Steak. The trusty steak. There we go. Uh, I think my favourite scene from the show, Tough Choice I Know, yes, uh, was when Willow was hacking into something and Giles says, didn't see it, wasn't here, couldn't have stopped you. <laughs> oh, I love Giles. I love it. I'm gonna have to. Do you know what? I'm gonna have to go watch the series again. <laughs> Freaking loved it. There's like, the thing is, I don't remember a lot of the one-liners or anything like that, but I do remember a lot of the um, 
Missed opportunity for a cock shot there. I would have done, Scott. I would have done. But you have to shoot them, like, when it starts going boom, boom, boom. And you have to shoot them in the heart. Because it's like, you can't kill them unless you kind of, like, do a stake in the heart. So, Jars has the best lines of anyone in the show. He has some great lines. Um, but, yeah, I don't remember a lot of, like, one-liners or anything like that. I just remember a lot of, like, the sad stuff from Buffy. Like, I remember, like, the episode where Joyce dies, which is just sad in general. But then Anya gets all upset because she doesn't understand human death. That's really sad. Um, then, by the way, huge spoiler alert if you haven't seen Buffy <laughs> or seen all of it. Huge, huge spoiler alert right now. Um, so just block your ears. Um, but, yeah, and then when... Um, yeah, Buffy, where the floor tiles look newer. According to an Willow's text, girlfriend, uh, there should be a hatch crap, in the floor that leads to a hidden passageway. Unfortunately, it seems that at some point the hatch was sealed. Because I know we say it different in um, the UK. The Tara, yeah, now, but they say Tara. So when um, Tara, uh, she dies, that's also super sad because then Willow, Willow becomes a Willow. Willow becomes all evil. Then it's a plan. I'm going up. Just stand clear and try not to get squashed. I'll do my best. Pity that it turns out working on the show was so toxic. Seems like the girls all had a night. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, it wasn't the best uh, working environment. But, I mean, what a show. Um, but, yeah, and, like, so there's just, like, so many messed up bits that I remember. I don't remember a lot of the good stuff. I just remember the outfits and being like, oh, my God, and I'm wanting to dress like Willow because she just had the cutest fashion sense ever. And then, yeah, so Joyce dying, Tara dying, Willow becoming evil... Um, there's like a really sad bit where Xander basically stops Willow from destroying the world. And it's just super sad because Alison Flanagan is just Hannigan. Alison Hannigan. Flanagan. Hannigan, I think it is. Um, it's such a good actress. And when she cries, it just makes you want to cry because it's just so believable. And the bond that Xander and Willow have is just so sweet. And yeah, he's like the only one that can like get her back to reality. And it's so sad. Um, then there's the scene where Spike practically almost assaults Buffy because he's in love with her so much. And it's just, there's just so many messed up, really sad bits in Buffy. And they're the bits that I remember. <laughs> um, and also like some super scary episodes. Like, um, is it like the men, oh, what was it like the men in white or the, the, the men who's, smile or something. Do you remember they were like really weird looking long elongated like men in suits and like I think they had like bowler hats and they just kind of glided along. That's such a creepy the gentleman, yes, thank you. Scarlet, yes. Um Alison Hannigan, yes, thank you. It was Hannigan. I always I think it's because I'm like Hannig like Hannigan Flanagan and I I think of that weird it's like poor little Mr Flanagan of Mananigan I I think of that and so I get confused if it's Hannigan or Flanagan. Um but, uh, yeah, she's just brilliant. But, um, yeah, the Gentleman episode, oh, my God. So freaking creepy. <laughs> it was, like, there's a lot of really, like, good episodes and there's some, like, creepy stuff that happens. But that was one of the only episodes in um, Buffy where I was, like, what the hell is this? This is terrifying. We had nightmares. She's an absolute babe, very funny when she wants to. Oh, Alice, she's so good. Like in um, uh, How I Met Your Mother. Oh my God, she's so funny. And I just think she's just the sweetest. She just seems like the sweetest person. And I'm afraid you're on your own from here on out. Yeah, I love her. I love her as Willow. I don't think you could have had anybody else as Willow. Challenge. Once you have inserted all of the stone keys in their places, the main entrance will open. Check. I'll meet you there. See, I don't remember that, Scott. I feel like maybe I've not seen the final... Because I was watching the final season, but I'm and I was like, I'm pretty sure I've seen these episodes. Um, but then there's episodes I see in clips and things I hear about the final season, and I'm like, I don't remember seeing that, so I must have not fully watched the final season. Um, but yeah, there's... there's like Even um, like Xander and Anya breaking up, I was like really sad about that, because I was like, I, I really like them together. I feel like they brought out the best in each other. It was the very last, yeah, so I'm guessing I've not seen that very last episode. Always had a thing for Charisma Carpenter over Buffy. Oh, yeah, I mean, who didn't? Oh, yeah, I mean, I love Buffy. She's a badass. She's one of my favorite characters, but as in, like, a, like, if I had the hots for her, yeah, no. I had the hots for Willow and, um, yeah, Charisma Carpenter's character. What's she called? Oh, what's her name? 
Well, who's who does she play? Oh. Cordelia, Cordelia, yes, thank you. Never should have walked into my Honestly. Sleeper. This is why I'm I'm just so bad with names. Like I could tell you like so much like random facts and weird things about different like random episodes and things like that, that I remember. But <laughs> do I remember the names of a lot of these characters? No. Like I remember that like Seth Green is in an episode as a were like or a few episodes actually as a werewolf and he goes out of Willow. Don't remember his name though, that his character's name. Um But yeah. Faith? I did like Faith, yeah. I did have a bit of a crush on Faith, but I think it was more like I wanted to be her. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like, oh I have a, like a thing for her. It was more like she's badass, she's sexy, I wanna be Faith, you know? <laughs> Whereas I think Cordelia's just like, yeah, she's very hot. <laughs> Oz! I'm yes! Cool. Thank you, Crow! Oz. Yeah. And then there's like an episode where they like lock him up in a cage. And um, oh, I think Giles might like bring it up and he's like, why is uh, Willow's like boyfriend um, locked up in a cage? I feel like a new slayer. go yeah Oz is a good character actually I liked Oz um plus I, I'm quite a fan of um Seth Green actually and he was he did a really good job in it I think it's funny he doesn't get enough love Seth Green nice it kind of has that interior decorator from hell thing happening yeah Slayer. Slayer. Feeling you've been somewhere before? Slayer. <laughs> oh, is that how it is? I didn't know that. So I thought he was just always a, a werewolf, like a born a werewolf. What's the matter, Slayer? You look, you look like, like you've seen, seen a, a ghost. ghost. Why? No witty banter? He has a really good voice. Mm. I'm crushed. I had built up so much nostalgia for our reunion. Uh, He's got a real, um, Hellraiser vibe going on. <gasps> Slayer. The master terrified me as a kid. Yeah, I don't know, like, he wasn't... He's scary looking, but I, I don't know, it didn't bother me as much as a kid because, like, something. certain mm. things creep me out and he just, yeah, didn't really keep creep me out as much. And also, my mum was a huge Hellraiser fan, so I'd seen a lot worse <laughs> at that point. <laughs> we are the Mighty Razorbacks! Oh, Mighty, Mighty Razorbacks. I thought it was just Mighty Razorbacks. Okay, okay. Oh, Let's off screen. A break. A little reminder, Buffy. I know you're like oh, James MVP Masters, when yeah. it comes to offing the butt ugly Oh my god, yes! There's like, um, John Barrowman's like, boyfriend kind of thing, wasn't he? Please, try to pay attention. Sorry, just feeling a little oogie. I haven't had much luck with the quality Z's lately. Yeah. Bad dreams. If and they can take down Buffy, they're gonna be pretty bad. You. I'm over the pursuit of fame and glory through cheerleading. It's a crushing blow to the world of This is such an shouting. iconic outfit. I just okay, feel girls, like this is the one that I really again, remember from this, this game. I... <gasps> Cordy, get everyone else into the supply closet. Cordy, keep them quiet until I come for you. I'll go track down the janitor and see if Creepy Pete can get the lights turned back on. Yeah, I think um, for me, like, my two big crushes in uh, Buffy was Willow and Spike. I've always got a thing for the bad bad boys, you know? I realized that recently when I was like, wow, I have... Like, I was uh, thinking about uh, Josh Hutchison again. <laughs> I was thinking about Josh Hutchison again, as if I just think about him all the time. Um, but it's because I was talking about Five Nights at Freddy's, and obviously he's playing Five. Mike Schmidt. Ain't, Ain't gonna, gonna happen. happen. Yeah, we got it! Um, okay, I'm gonna just try and see if I can bring the brightness up just a little bit, just because freaking light that's in my face. Um, 
I'm struggling to um, see a little bit. Sorry if that's super bright for you guys, but it's just I'm really struggling to see where I'm supposed to be going. Ah, there we go. Um, yeah, so Josh Hutchison is playing Mike Schmidt in the FNAF nope. movie. Time to move on. And uh, I was thinking about, I was like, oh man, I had such a crush on him when I was a kid. And then I was trying to remember like the first things that I must have seen him in. And um, I think, obviously, when I was really little, I saw him in, like, uh, British Terabithia. And then he was in, like, a, like kind of like a space Jumanji film. But I can't remember what it was called. Um, but then I saw him in The Vampire's Assistant. Because he always played, like, the good guy. And in The Vampire's Assistant, oh my god, I had the biggest crush on him. Because he's kind of had this, like... He kind of starts out kind of good, the good guy, but then he turns into, like, the bad guy. Um, and then I think by the end of it, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen The Vampire's Assistant, it's actually a very good film, but spoiler alert, I think by the end, he also becomes a vampire's assistant, as in he is a vampire, I think, um, to another vampire or something like that. But obviously he's, like, the bad guy, and then him and his best friend have to, like, fight it out. But, oh my god, that was so hot to me. I was just like, ooh! And that's when I started to realize when I looked back at it, I was like, wow, I really have a thing for bad, <laughs> for bad boys, you know? Um, like, because I always thought Josh Hutchison was cute, but it was that, that was like a turning point for me where I was like, ooh, he's hot. Um, bear in mind, I was, I was of the same age. Hey, like, I'm pretty sure we're very similar be. age. My so I just want to put that out there because he's like a teenager in that film. I also want to, I just want to clarify that I was also a teenager at the time. Um, and yeah, it's just weird to think that he doesn't look any different either. Um, it's just, yeah, he just looks like he's like got a little bit of a, like, the fluff going Even on. During the most boring physics class, I never would have wished for you. Not Mr. Campbell, Spike and Wesker. Maybe you like just like blondes. Oh yeah, I think I do have a, a thing for slick black, a slick black blonde. Oh. Oh crap. Go kiss daylight. Go kiss daylight, yeah. Oh. You want a piece of me? I'll give you the whole damn pie. Don't. <laughs> I feel like a new slayer. Zathura, yes! It was Zathura. Thank you so much, Crow. Thank you. You got all the answers today, Crow. Ugh. Stay away. Stop. Ugh. Saved you. Do you get extra points for saving people? I think they give you stuff, I think. Ooh! Nice! James had a great costume in Doctor Who, kind of like a drum major jacket with braids. I don't remember what he wore, but I just remember being like, oh my god, he's gay and it's, this is amazing. Oh god, Buffy, no. Talk to her. Talk Take to her. Oh, you. thank god. Don't kill the poor girl, Jesus. <laughs> Take this with you. I think, am I supposed to be getting the power back on? I think I am. <laughs> Oh, oh, I hate that move so much. That was like the one move that the one move to rule them all. To be fair, Buffy would have would be my mastermind subject. And home. And it's him. Oh, let's try. Whoa, Kidoki! Then I was nowhere near that. Come on. Oh. I wish they could all be California, California girls. Girl. I set him on fire because I was on fire and that therefore killed him. Come back here, you bastard. You're blocking my attacks that I don't like it. Oh, that was like an epic little one. There we go. So satisfying. And a boom. And a boom. And a boom. Let me boom you. <laughs> Doing a thing here. Kaboom. There we go. Nothing like a brisk walk in a spot of demon slaughter. Sorry, I thought I could smell something burning and I have a candle lit, but it's okay. It's the last thing I'd want. The whole room to just set ablaze. Not good. Die, Slayer! So original. Who's this? Willow! They Never Lie down and let me poke you. Does it make me a pessimist to say that's a bad omen? Cutting the power. I'm thinking they're smarter than the average bear. Or average vampire bear. And here comes another bad thought on a collision course with my terror. There are magnetic locks on all the main doors. No. Here, take this. You won't be able to open them until the power comes back on. 
Then we have to get the power back on. Just stay here. Keep your head down. Absolutely. Classroom. Always felt right at home in a classroom. Yep. Gonna sit right here with the chalk. <laughs> She's so freaking cute. She had the best outfits out of everyone. I mean, Buffy had some really good outfits, but just like, it's just not my style. <laughs> I'll always, I love how the friggin' vampires look in uh, Buffy. They have the best, the best vampires in any, any media. I'm so ashamed. Uh. Guess you wish you'd stayed home tonight. Killed by a cheerleader. I'm Oh, let's kill something. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Boom. Stompy stomp. Another one. It's your twin. Look, it's Why is she walking like that? Why is she walk that dead? I love how it's like the same person, but she's got a different color on. So, oh, she's stronger than the other one because she's got a slightly different color on. Oh. <gasps> Paid any attention to girls like you. Boom. Oh, she's rebounding off of everything. There we go. This is my town. My town. That's it. The only way any of these leeches is getting out of here is in a dustpan. Killed by a cheerleader. I'm so ashamed. Hoi. Oh yes, this is where we get like this like hellhounds or something. Here? Pretty sure there's a hellhound at some point. Likely in the oh, hello. Get ready to spill your guts, honey. Ah, you bastard! You want a piece of me? I'll, I'll give you the whole damn pie. I want you, babe, but not in a good way. <laughs> Is that Steve Buscemi? Right now, you're every pretty girl who ever ignored you. And it's payback time. Die already. Whoa! Oh, nice! <laughs> Didn't even mean to do that. I killed old ladies with like that. Is that seriously? That sounds so much like Steve Buscemi. Did he voice vampires in this game? I feel like a new slayer. I feel like a new slayer. What have you got? Anything good? What have you got? Anything good? What's this? Could come in handy. Holy elixir! Holy elixir, Batman! Okay, where are we going? Killed by a cheerleader! I'm so ashamed. Oh, nice. Oh, he's not in here anymore. Hello? Apparently, I'm going to need a plan B. Plan B? Oh. Got a really itchy throat all of a sudden. Aha! Uh no. -huh. Oh. Well, that can't be a good sound. Oh! He was doing a hereditary. This game is a rather Showtime. liberal interpretation of what counts as a wooden win. stake. Yeah. Hi, honey. I'm, I'm home. Yeah. Oh yeah, get that techno music going. Quite chat. Oh, oh go kiss like a brisk a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. I feel like that should be on a t, t uh, like a Buffy t-shirt. Nothing like a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Check the Slayer style. You are totally killing my buzz. Okay, I think I'm going the wrong way. Oh. No, Miss. Whoever you are. Ruined it. Just looked it up. No, Steve Buscemi, but not SMG either. Wait, what? It's not Sarah Michelle Gala? Seriously? Hey, Mr. Carvax. Uh, I forgot this game existed. This game is freaking awesome. It's not Sarah Michelle Gellar, seriously? If anything, it's so, it, the only... Sounds so much like her. 
Definitely gonna have to start binge watching Buffy after this same. <laughs> it's been at least a year since I've binge watched it the last time, so 100% need to watch this again. Uh, oh, hello, there you are. Oh. <laughs> I have better things to do than kick your ass, but nothing. More. Yeah, the only person I thought sounded different was it says Giselle Lor Giselle Loren. How strange. It sounds so much like her, that's insane. Um, yeah, the only person I thought sounded different was actually um, Willow. For the vampire who has everything. Pretty sure, yeah, it definitely sounds like, I, I, I mean, it sounds like all of them. I, like, I wouldn't have thought that wasn't Sarah Michelle Gellar as Buffy. Like, it's spot on. All right, there we go. These guys are a pain in the ass. Okay. Ow! Okay. Well. Ow! Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, once you get in there. Just gotta keep it going. There we go. Sounded like Anderson Hagen to me. I don't know, just, it does sound like her, but just slightly off. But maybe she just wasn't 100% sure with the whole voice acting thing, but... Retro, retro, how very dare you. I had Buffy, Dang. Chaos Blue on the Game... Chaos Bleeds and Game Boy power. Buffy when they first came out so, crumbles into dust. Anything that's, um... I think anything that's over... Or at least 20 years old is, uh, counts as, uh, retro slash vintage. So, yeah. Technically it is retro. <laughs> Wait, is that not is that not, is that not the right card? Dude, forgot these doors oh. are mag locked. Won't open without Willow power. is Alison Hagen. Only other so, cast member who isn't meetings. real is the master. Okay, that's fair enough. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, I don't know who played the original master to be honest. Saw a picture of um, S A H as Frankenfurter from Rocky Horror when he was in college. He looked good. S A H. Who's S A H? How do I? There we go. Yeah, because this is bit. I mean, when did this come out? Let's have a look. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer game. Two thousand and two. So, yeah. So, <laughs> it's over twenty years old. So technically, it's vintage. It's retro. Oh, Stuart Anthony Head, yeah. Oh my goodness, I, yeah. Uh, have you seen him in, um... Like, I like Giles, I loved him. He was like a father figure. Like, I, I always thought of him that way, like in the Buffy series, because that's who he kind of is in, in Buffy. And then I saw him in uh, Repo, the generic opera, and I was just like, I'm getting different feelings <laughs> for this guy. <laughs> Mark Metcalf, don't test me, Kirsten. Crow, you are on a blast here. You are on a roll. Um, I don't know who that is, but I mean, whoever's doing the voice for him in this is brilliant. I think he's got a very, very cool, smooth voice. Fight. Chick fight. You want a piece of me? He was on top of the pops, really? Ah, oh, the bastard! So annoying when they block your advances. You can't win, Slayer. Wanna bet? Wanna bet Steve Buscemi wanna be? Hey Luke, how's it going my friend? He was a good he was a good bad guy in Doctor Who. Oh yes, he was in Doctor Who? I didn't know that. I didn't I haven't really watched a lot of Doctor Who. Well, I do remember the whole um uh James Masters and um John Barrowman. Flashbacks of little nine year old Kirsten kicking vampire ass. But I've been nine. 2002. I, I don't know. I'm guessing that's right. <laughs> 20 years ago, so... No, it would have been 10. 20 years ago. Yeah, I would have been 10. So, 21 years ago. Oh yeah, so 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 9. I would have been 9. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, actually, Yael really showed up in Doctor Who. I was so excited. Oh, yeah, I remember just being like, oh, that's Spike! Like, I didn't know his name, like, as a kid. So I was just like, that's Spike! Um, but yeah, I was, uh, had a huge, huge uh, crush on him. 
How good was Amber Benson singing though? Amber Benson? What in? It's, is she, are, we, are we talking about Repo? Terror. Oh my god, yes! Yeah, the singing episode. I forget about the, um... The singing episode. Classic. So yeah, if you haven't seen Buffy, um... There is a... Episode where they, um... They, it's, I can't, it's like a curse or like a spell or something like that, isn't it? And, um... Yeah, they're all like stuck. Singing. Um, everything and it's such a good one. Spike was also yes. in Smallville and the Dragon Ball no. movie. Yes, I did know that. Shit. He plays uh, Piccolo. Because again, that's another thing I, <laughs> I... Don't ask me why I know that. But uh, I was a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, so I watched. I did watch the live action um, version. And yeah, I was a huge Buffy fan, so I watched. I was even more excited when I realized that um, the guy playing Piccolo was James Masters. I was like, yes. Let them eat steak. Oh, croup. Let them eat steak. Love it. Oh, no! I've got to have another one, right? There we go. Ah, oh, bitch. <laughs> I deserve that. I deserve that. That invisible wall really, really got him there. She had my favorite song. I really don't remember a lot of the songs. Because, um, I, again, I probably Nothing skipped that one um, as a kid because I'm not a big musical fan. Um, it's very difficult for me to enjoy musicals. Um, again, the only ones that I've ever really liked were Repo and um, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, and I think, again, a lot of what made me like it was I was like, well, it's still horror kind of themed, so it didn't bother me too much. Um, but yeah, I don't really enjoy musicals that much, so I probably didn't really enjoy that episode, and I, that's why I don't really remember a lot of the songs or anything, but, um, I'll have to give it a go, because I do kind of enjoy them a little bit more now, um, that I'm older, so, I like to, I like to give it a, a, a what's the word, I like to give it a, a chance, you know. Anthony Head was also in the Inbetweeners movie, his daughter was a semi-regular character in the series. Is he in it? I had the musical episode CD. Once more with feeling. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me that he was in it. Don't like musical answer. Yeah, I'm just, eh. It's just, I don't mind, again, I don't mind them if the songs are catchy and all that sort of stuff. But I just, I'm not a fan of like, Les Miserables and, and, and you know, stuff like that. Where it's like, oh, I'm going to the shops and it's all. Like, I'm just, I, I can't, it's just boring. Or like, yeah. I, I don't mind if a film has music in it. Um, I just don't want it to be all the time. So yeah, that's why I just say I don't really like musicals because it's like if it's a musical, it's pretty much la 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 song, two seconds of acting, and then oh, I went to another song. He's Will's dad. I think you're right, you know, Biscuit. I think you're right. Yeah. Is he in the film though, or is he in the series? I don't remember him in the in the film. I feel like I watched the film recently. I love uh, Will's mum though. I mean, I know everyone does, but she's so funny. I don't know what the actress is called, but I know she's in um, the IT crowd. She plays Douglas's wife. She's like, oh. no library card. And she's like, oh Giles, you idiot. Check out Cannibal the Musical by Trey Parker and Matt Stone. I have better things to do than Haven't they just done another one Nothing recently? Um, Trey, like, uh... Oops. I feel like there's uh, another... They've just done another musical or so. Or maybe that's that's the most recent one. Guess you wish you'd stayed home Because on the set of, um... The Last of Us, they had kept messing around where they were, like, pretending to sing and stuff. <sighs> Too slow. And like turning it into a musical, and then I think they've actually done like this horror musical sort Can't of thing. Cordelia was the first celeb I met at my first con. Oh, nice biscuit! Is she nice in real life? She seems quite pretty sweet. Oh my god, die already! The only other one I know that they've done is the Book of Mormon. Oh, okay. 
Okay, now I can go right. through. Check the slaves, Cannibal is from 1993 before South... Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, not Trey Parker. Sorry, I'm thinking of... Um, yeah, no. Trey Parker, Resto. Yeah, so, uh, South Park. Okay, I'll have to check that one out because I like South Park. Um, no, who am I? Troy Baker. I'm thinking of Troy Baker. Troy... Troy... Yeah, Troy Baker. Yes. I'm working on it. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Get ready to spill your, your guts, guts, honey. And then you ran away. You want a piece of me? I'll, I'll give you a whole damn pie. We need all these quotes on a t-shirt, seriously. I need the whole damn pie quote. You want a piece of me? I'll give you the whole damn pie. Giles. If anyone has a free hand, I'm about to be eaten. <laughs> hey, what do you think this is? A if you would, please save me. Just the stray I was looking for. Come out to play. You don't think I'm gonna let you read without a fight? Oh, blimey, he's got a fair bit of health going on him. I drag you back to my master. Oh, blimey, he's doing skitty skits. Oh, not now, buff. <laughs> I want the whole damn pie in a minute. Buffy's gonna get a kick in and then stab you in the chest with a steak. Like we had a shortage. Feeling fussy with my Buffy. <laughs> Continue this later. I got you, Giles. How's your noggin? <laughs> Bruised, but otherwise all right. I believe I'm building up a resistance to cranial trauma. Trauma? Why do you say it like that? Trauma, Giles. That must be a really good book. Actually, no. It's a rather obscure text on spirit channeling. The author was long-winded and pedantic. Want me to try to track him? Get the book back? No, that won't be necessary. The text is seriously out of date. Its contents would be of little worth to anyone but an amateur medium. Hmm. Here comes the Scooby gang. Where were you, Zonda? I didn't find you earlier. Hey, Buff. I've been working on this bad boy for quite a while, and this looks like the right time to break it in. Xander, for me, you shouldn't have. Keep an eye out for crystals when you're out on Slayer duty. Crystal! Funny, but they also come in handy, strong with the mojo. Any good witch or bad demon knows that certain crystals have healing or energy-enhancing powers. If you find anything, bring it back to me. I've been Got experimenting it. with some spells using crystals. If I have the right ones, I might be able to boost your strength and slayer power. Nice. Kind of like an energy bar, but <laughs> you don't need it. Tummy ache. And <laughs> later we could make some fun and life-affirming jewelry out of them. Or not. All this fuss over a stupid book? Why don't you people get your priorities straight? Hello, oh, training competition this week. <laughs> Buffy, there are some advanced fighting techniques I'd like you to begin studying immediately. Joy, yes, more and more complicated ways to monster mash. Indeed. Take this and study it. Mm -hmm. Wait, you didn't say there was reading involved. Given the gravity of our situation, I recommend you incorporate these techniques into your repertoire immediately. Repertoire. Don't no get all heavy with the gravity. Consider it done. Xander was always my favorite. I definitely related to him. Yeah, he's he's very sweet. I love Xander. Surrounded by it or outnumbered, the certain technique will even the odds. Do a little and then press X. Nice. I can do that. Oh, whoochoo. Uh, is that it? Can I go now? Is that it? Can I go now? No, what is it? They're dead, alright! Can I go now? Extra points if you know what that quote's from. <sighs> right. Let's give this a whirl. O Woo! eternal and all-powerful Lord, to whom the darkness itself bows down, from Ooh, look at the dominatrix. the damnation of humankind, who writes this, Dross? I call forth Lybach of the Abyss, as you have commanded. 
Come to me, your most loyal servant beseeches thee. Drew! Let it down, you wanker! Let it down, you wanker! Doing your dirty work. But you've got to hold on, Drew. But don't push me, old man. Oh, yeah, like I had any bloody choice in the matter. <laughs> I've been a good little errand boy, oh great and powerful one. Come back to the Hellmouth, reclaim the Master's old church digs in your name, and regroup what was left of the Order of Aurelius. Even summon that Matariani fella. Although the necromancer seems to be running a little bit behind schedule. Maybe he's caught in traffic or something. See, I never actually knew what she said here, or he said here, because um, there was no subtitles when he's when he's talking. But I can't afford to fold. What next, Dark Lord? How may I serve you further? Oh, I don't see that being too much of a problem. Got a wonderful <laughs> little flesh palace just down the street. Flesh palace? They were quite into their bondage wear, indeed. How are they how are we how are we possibly gonna know that they're vampires if not in their in leather? Just look at that tramp. Some of my sources? They tell me Skanky Heather Ooh. there. Skanky Heather at Steve Phillips, one of the hunkier linebackers. Oh, I love the, the nipples yesterday. Shocking coincidence? It just so happens Steve hasn't been heard from since. Now here she is working her tight end on one of our tight ends. You know what I think? I think she's some kind of vampire slut on a mission to kill the Just had vampire. I uh, just had flashbacks of Vampire Willow. Yes. She must be stopped. Sick her, Buffy. Listen, Miss <laughs> Kitty. I can't stake every girl who blocks your spotlight. When you saw her yesterday, wasn't it broad daylight? <laughs> Hello. Vamps have that pesky allergic reaction to the sun. Okay. Maybe she lathered up with the whole Econo tub of 90 sunscreen. Whatever she is, she must be stopped. Sorry, Cordelia. Looks like another jock fell prey to her trampy wiles. Maybe now we can start enjoying the evening. Jeez, Buff. Jinx us, why don't you? That's a cue for something evil to crash in if I ever heard of <laughs> Oh, Xander. Main universe Willow having to pretend to be here. Oh my god, yeah, it's so good. I slayer back. Oh yeah, I remember this dominatrix lady so annoying because she like she emphasizes her s's and it's just so annoying. Like she's some sort of snake lady. Oh no, I have. Oh, I do. I was gonna say I do not have. Uh... Hello, demon. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, oh no. I'm on it. I don't drink wine in my ass. Oh, damn it. She's dead. Sorry about that, lady. Right, so what I do remember about this guy is that I'm pretty sure I don't need to kill him. I think I just need to run away. You think you can take me? Yeah. Come on. The amount of time I spent on that as a kid. Trying to kill this friggin' Watch juggernaut guy. It's a humdinger. Only to realize that all I had to do was run through the frickin' door. Fun. Hello. You're incredible. I owe you my life. <laughs> You're incredible, <laughs> man. I owe you my life. <laughs> Die, bitch. Oh, didn't mean to do that. No, that way down. You can't win, Slayer. There's only one of you. But there's an endless supply of us. There's an endless supply of us, as I'm very quickly seeing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he had to get that little jab in then, didn't he? You stab me, I punch you in the face. Nothing like what a brisk walk and a spot of at? demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Are you okay? What happened to your head? Are you? Oh, over there. I see it. I see it, Buff. I see it. 
That's what you were looking at. You almost broke her neck trying to give me that hint. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Okay, this well, is the level that I got so stuck on forever as a kid. And I will show you the area man. and tell me that you Spike. couldn't friggin' knew you'd miss me. Say, figure it out. Headed Nancy boy you're always parading around with. Usually angels following you around like a nudist pup. Oh yeah, so obviously the vamps dissolve because it's like as you like stab them, they like turn Sorry, into love. dust. Business That's what she says about like cleaning them up with a dustpan. It's like one of the best things about uh, Buffy. I, I love how not only how they look, but when she kills them, they just kind of psh, and like burn and disintegrate into dust. It's the best thing. I'm ecstatic to see you. You shouldn't have come back because I've been saving up a big honk and serving a whoop ass just for you. Whoop ass. Glad you're here. It was getting a bit heavy to carry around. Make you bleed, I know you love me, oh, really, Spike. Hurting you, Spike. Wesker, is that you? <laughs> yeah, he's definitely been inspired. One of them's been inspired by the other, 100%. Albert Wesker in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He's real. Oh, go kiss daylight. Right, you need to disappear on me now, Spike. Flatbread, it's finally done. I had That's four bits right, of flatbread, but then I ate the a first one after it cooled down. All oh, nice. Bit of foreplay before I had a flatbread pizza the other day. It was delicious. Rituals. You got the picture? Yeah. One thing I can say about my relationship with the little miss down there, it's got fire. I can imagine someone at Cap. <laughs> yeah. They're like, write this down, write this down! Yeah, so I will show you. So as you can see, they have just gone into that room up there. Now, as a kid, and even as an adult, because uh, it, it took me forever to figure this out, I had no idea how to get up there. I knew I had to kind of get up there. I just didn't know how. So I knew that I had to get up here because she can come this way and she climbs on top of this, gets up here. And so, and then at some point you start, like, and there's a vampire over there and they're throwing stuff at you and I thought maybe you could jump on that, jump on that, and get over there somehow. Um, but nope, you can't do that. They just kind of chuck stuff at you, and then you have to shoot them with a crossbow. Um, but it's pain in the ass. I'll keep an eye on it in a minute, actually, because I'm sure he'll turn up to start chucking stuff at me soon. Oh, die. Never paid any attention you. Now, freaking kill it. There we go. Right, is he over there? Yeah, he's not over there yet. Fair man. Get wind slayer. There's only still not there. There's a So yeah, so I always managed. I could get up here as a kid. Oh. There you go. Okay. So I figured out I could get over here. Okay. But then I was like, well, where do I go? Because there's no there's no door here or anything. There's win. no like ladder or anything to climb down to get down to that level. So you just kind of follow it round. You want a piece of me? I'll give you the whole damn pie. Which leads to this area, which you know you go through here. Not very gracefully, but you go through here. And then you open this up. There's a girl in here I hiding. Gangbangers crashing in here, and, and I lock myself in. Gangbangers. Still out there, for the moment. But sit tight, and we'll see what we can I'm do. I'm impatiently waiting for the second of June. Wait, what's the second of I June? Don't know what to say, but I'm Thanks. Gonna... Thanks. Number of now famous actors who had cameos in Buffy and Angel still blows my ear. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's when you go back and watch it, and you're like, whoa, hang on a second. Whoever recorded the dough really sounds like. I think it was him. I think it was him. Waiting for the first of the new Ninjago show should be... Oh, nice! Oh, I used to love watching Nin Ninjago. Um, so, yeah. So, then you come through here again. So, you, I, you know, as a kid, I fell through. And then more vampires There's come out. Girl. And so... You can't go win, this Slayer. way. There's only one of you. So, I'd be like, okay. This, I've, I've obviously got to go back up here somehow. Because she's looking over there. I'm getting stuff chucked at you. I'm pretty sure that guy just chucked, fell in the fire. 
Um, and this guy is just so freaking annoying. Pretty sure, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure this guy starts throwing fire at you as well, which is also super annoying. This fire just does such damage. And again, it's not like you get, you don't really get checkpoints that often in this game, which is uh, pain in the ass. I really need to get some health from one of these. Tramp. <laughs> Tramp. <laughs> Buffy. Bitch. Hurry up and die, honey. Pedro Pascal and Jeremy Renner. Nice. Ooh. She went everywhere then. Oh yeah, I forget that Pedro Pascal is uh is in an episode of um Buffy. She like did she ask him for directions or he asked her for directions? Okay, let's let's get this guy. I want you, babe, but not in a good way. Oh god. Whoa! Oh! Oh god, oh god, not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh god. All you got, girl? Kill those ladies with that card. Oh, thank god. Okay, hang on. Oh. Okay, I think there's a way to... Uh, poops. Ah, here we go. I think I can... Mix holy water with something? Yes, I think I can mix it with these. There we go. That'll do some damage. Um... I also keep forgetting that I have elixirs that I can drink. Um, oh, he was an angel? Oh, okay, I never, I didn't really watch too much angel. Hello, Tom! I'm just gonna follow and pretend I knew about this game. Wait, Tom, you never played this game? Were you a fan of the show though, Tom? And you just didn't know that the game existed? Because that's fair enough, that's fair enough. But yeah, this game is uh, classic. Can you not see me right now? There we go. See? This so much easier. Camp. Okay, so I would do that, I'd get rid of these guys, and then I would be stuck here, and I'd be like, I, what, what am I supposed to do? Okay, because there's no indication. She's not saying, like, I should go over here, or I should try this. And it because I could, and then it was only when I was playing it recently, I realized, okay, and it's a, I've got to get to that door somehow. And this is how you do it, okay? So this is how you, how you do have to do it. So bear in mind, these freaking controls are finicky AF. Okay, so you come over here. It's like an opportunity for a good wholesome shimmy. Good wholesome shimmy. Good wholesome shimmy. Never knew that that was a thing that I had to do. So then you come over here. Oh, try not to fall to your death. So it's, it's difficult enough to just get to this point, but trying to get her to jump to this friggin' thing and not fall to your death. So hard. Even when I played this again recently, do you know how long it freaking took me to? I, I I didn't figure this out for myself. I had to look it up. I was like, "Are you kidding me? There is no indication as that as to what I'm supposed to be doing, unless you somehow get to that point where she then does the little cutscene. She's like, "Oh, I should shimmy," and oh my god. So yeah, as a, as a ten-year-old, nine-year-old, I never got past this point. No trail of breadcrumbs. If this isn't a PS2 I game, I'm disappointed. Yeah, it's a, it's an Xbox game. It was on the um, the original Xbox. So, does, no, it doesn't tell you at all. Doesn't tell you. And even like I said, even if you're stuck there for like an hour, like I would have been done as a kid, like running around trying to figure out how, where am I supposed to go? How the hell am I supposed to do this? At no point does she ever say like. Maybe I need to get into that room, or I need to try and figure out a way to get up onto that level. Like, I know I had to get up there, but she doesn't give you any clues as to how to get there. Oh my god. Yes, thus, yellow points everywhere in modern, modern games. I appreciate the yellow paint, hey, honestly. It is the biggest help to people like me who just, like, don't, they don't... And it's like... And I know they said, well, you should try and explore, and you should try things. And it's like, that's all well and good in games nowadays, because you have, like, autosaves and stuff. Games back here, like back then, didn't really have autosaves unless you went to like an, an, like the next level or you got to a certain area. It wasn't like continual autosaves. So if I 
just tried stuff and I died, I might have to go through that entire mission again and it could have been an- and some of these missions are ball aches. So it's just, like, I don't really have the patience all the time to be experimenting with stuff because it could kill me and I don't really want to have to start that all over again when it might have taken me ages to get to this point, so yeah. The OG Xbox, that big uh, green screen shit thing. Uh, it was like it was like a really big, it was like this. It was like this big, I think. Big flat thing and then it had a big green circle in the middle. Back in my bedroom now, my flatbread and a stitch in my fr- Ooh! Got Tomb Raider PS1 vibes to be honest. Oh, really? Uh, do I get out of this way? I think it looks pretty good for the time, to be honest. Especially the cutscenes. I think the cutscenes look pretty good. So this is another area that is a pain in the ass because, again, it is just so finicky. Must be some way to open this. Um. Oh. Um. Yeah, there's like a level where you have to jump from one oh, one area to another. Big hunk of junk. Ah, oh, I'm guessing you're a place. You're one of those. Uh, PlayStation guys, one of those Sony guys. You know, there's nothing wrong with like liking more than one console. Like I was such a big Xbox girl and I was just like, but I also had like a Nintendo and a PlayStation and stuff. And like, I just don't see why you have to give like other consoles such hate. Like just a console. Like, I don't know. There's definitely certain bits about the Xbox I enjoy more than the, the PlayStation, but um, there's just more games that I play on the PlayStation. Showtime. But there's so many the Xbox ex exclusives that I really, um, oh, really, really enjoy and uh, just gives me such nostalgia. And um, yeah, I don't know. Again, maybe it's because I grew up with it, like having mainly like my main console being an Xbox, but there's not a lot of like PlayStation games I really look back at in the same way. But again, that's just because I had an Xbox growing up. I'd probably be the exact same if I had more PlayStation games growing up. So, big PlayStation guy, have been for years, didn't really like Xbox. And that's fine, but you can't say that it's a hunk of junk. Because Xbox was really good. At least it doesn't sound like a plane trying to take off every time it loads up. <laughs> that was like the one thing I noticed about like um, when my brother, because he had a PlayStation 2 or 3 um, in his room. Oh my god, like whenever he would play it, we'd like, and at one point I remember my dad coming upstairs and we're like, what is that sound? And we were like, I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, we, we didn't know what it was. And then my brother finally came out and he was like, it's my PlayStation. It's <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, it sounds like it's about to explode. Whereas, uh, yeah, the Xbox never had that issue, which is, um, which is good. But uh, no, I really, I, I, I like them all, to be honest. I like the Wii, so, you know, I like to give all consoles a chance, really, to be honest. What games are you most excited about at the showcase? I haven't really been watching the show. I watched um, I watched the Sony uh, showcase yesterday. Um, not gonna lie, I'm really excited for Arizona Sunshine because it's a it's a zombie game. You guys know I love pretty much every zombie game. So um, I always saw that and I was like, this looks fun, especially where it's on VR. I thought oh, that'd be a really fun game to play. Um, but yeah, there wasn't really a lot of other ones that I was like, yeah, that looks good. Like I mean, most of some of them look good. But um, yeah, it was, it didn't sort of get me as hyped up as I thought it was going to be. It wasn't... Oh, did I just come this way? How do I get over there? GameCube was the best call. Yeah, GameCube was, had, was very good. It had a lot of really great, really great games on it. So Willow was the best. Oh, yes, Willow. Love Willow. Am I missing something? Oh, hello. Are you okay? Hey, pointy wooden object. Do My best you need help? I'm not trying, I'm trying to talk to you, not that to stab was amazing. you. Thank you so much. Season three, episode one. It's Seth Green. Oh, I know. <laughs> we were talking about Seth Green early. We were like, oh yeah, Seth Green's in it. What's his name? I went, oh yeah, he plays Oz. And uh, yeah, we were talking about that earlier about um, how we forgot Seth Green was in it. Yeah, he's. Uh, I like. I really enjoyed Oz. Okay, so we've got to come down. There's got to be another door or something that we're missing. How do we get over there? Used to sometimes spend one to two hours making outfits based off my group of elemental group of bin weevils on the Xbox 360 avatar thing. Oh, really? That's cool. Chris Griffin, yeah. 
Love Seth. So yeah, I really like Seth Green. I think he's really funny. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I really enjoy Seth Green. Oh, is there anything this way? Can I go this way? Oh, I can. Okay, I'm gonna break this down first though. Because this looks like it's... Ah, here we go. Sorry, dude. I couldn't A save you. I apologize. Health crystal! Sparkly thingies. Xbox has seriously dropped the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I definitely don't enjoy Xbox um, as much anymore. Maybe you um, hear me, you I had the original 360 and the down Xbox down One. The my um, but I haven't the got the, the newest slayer. one because it was just... I don't know. <laughs> it, just, it, it, it did one. seem like it, it wasn't putting out as much thing. content or so exclusives that were just... There's a lot of really great games that they could be remaking or um, remastering that they just haven't really been doing. And I just was like, eh. whereas again, like you got the PlayStation's got like The Last of Us and stuff. And it was just, there's just a lot of like very good games on the PlayStation, PlayStation exclusives. And um, it just made sense to get that. I feel like a new Slayer. Um, but yeah, I'm not really... I've definitely um, have kind of gone... Not got off of Xbox, because, I, again, I enjoy the original Xbox stuff. But, um, yeah, definitely um, it's not pulling me back in. Holy water. Don't leave home without it. Okay. Should I be doing something here? Redfall was garbage. Yeah, I've heard it's not great. Recently started helping out a local charity shop and I found a box set of my two favorite movies, the Scream trilogy and also the girl. Oh, nice. Oh, Scream. Yes, freaking love Scream. Um, dra girl with Dragon tattoo, tattoo is also fantastic. Chick fight. Chick fight. Let's go, Slayer. Let's go. He sounds so much like Steve Buscemi. It's crazy. Spider-Man is the main reason I want PlayStation. Yeah, I, I did see that yesterday, actually, because um, we were trying to figure out what it was. At first, I thought maybe it was like an X-Men game or like an Avengers game because it had um, both the Peter Parkers in it. But I didn't play um, <laughs> the newer ones. Um, but I must admit, I'm quite interested by it because um, I do quite enjoy the um, Spider-Man game, especially with uh, a bit of Venom action. Love it. I, I do think that we need a, a new X-Men game, though. Like, I know they tried to do an X-Men one recently, and I remember, I well, say recently, it was a while ago, about 10 years ago or something, but I really tried to enjoy it because, like, the whole, um, like, Ooh. advertising for it was like, oh, you get to make your own mutant and all this sort of stuff, and I was really excited for it because it's like, who doesn't want to make their own mutant? Grr, oh my god, I just realized the Gur arc for when people follow. Thank you so much, Undead Seth. This is so appropriate to have that as uh, I've, I've always had it because I'm a huge Buffy fan and now it's completely appropriate. They got the Wolverine. Yeah, I know they got the Wolverine coming up, but I mean, like, I wish they made, like, if I, w I just want, like, a X Men game where you um, can literally, like, kind of like how you would, like, a, a Bethesda game where you, you make your own character and all that sort of stuff and you can pick your powers and it's like a set kind of storyline, but then you can kind of choose whether you're going to be, like, um, you know, on Magneto's side, like the bad guys, or if you're going to join uh, Professor X and the other mutants. Do you know what I mean? I just think that'd be really cool. And being able to, like, hone your powers and upgrade them and, 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 you know, really, like, create your own character. But they kind of tried to do that before, and it just really sucked. And it was like, oh, you can create your own character, but not really. It's basically these four characters you have to choose, and you can kind of customize them a little bit. And it was just like, ugh, crap. <laughs> Excited for some Venom? Yes, me too. Oh, hello. Two shows that I loved as a kid was Buffy. And oh, I loved Charmed, Tom. Friggin' loved Charmed. I even started watching it. I uh, still carried on watching it when um, I met my partner. And he hated it. He really did not like Charmed. And you know, um, the song. The... I can't remember the... I am the sun. The song that it plays in um, the Charmed opening. And uh, obviously that's all he would hear is either but the Buffy Vampire Slayer opening theme song or the Charmed theme song. And he hated the Charmed theme song. He was like, I hate this show so much. <laughs> so um, yeah, he didn't like that. X-Men Destiny, yeah, yeah. But hello, um, by the way, sorry, um, whoever, uh, I completely missed who it was that followed. Uh, Seth, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're doing well today. How are you? 
Are you a fan of the show or game? Did you even know this game existed? Because I know that there's some people in the chat that were a fan of the show and didn't even know this game existed, so... They needed a good Powerpuff Girls game. That would be really good, actually, yeah. Like, like a proper old school kind of beat em up. Um, but I don't know, I feel like part of me is like, just leave Powerpuff Girls alone, you know? Because it's good as it is. It doesn't need a live action remake. I just think, just like, it's good. Just let it be good, do you know what I mean? It's not broke, don't fix it. How soon now by the Smiths originally? Ah, yes, yes. Ooh. Thank you, Tom. Damn it. No electricity. No Green electricity. Power switch must be around here somewhere. Is it over there? <laughs> Is it that ominous room that you're slowly zooming into? I am the sun. Did love you. Yeah, no, I, I think like cosplaying them as real people is one thing because it's like, oh, that's really cool, like how they would look as real people. But I think having it as an actual TV show, I just never saw really how that was going to work. Um, because it's, it's just, yeah, it's just not the show you can really do a live action version of. So, yeah. It was never going to work. It was never going to work. It's not the show that they need to be making a, a li live action version of, let's just say that. Okay, well. <laughs> he just fucked me up. <laughs> Surprised they haven't done something in the vein of Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. Like more like a more adult version of like Powerpuff Girls, but in the style of Scott Pilgrim or something. Um, obviously I'm, you know, really excited for the new like anime they're gonna do. It's gonna be really cool. Could go on forever about that era of music, but I just love the genre. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I know, yes, the anime, yeah, it's gonna be great. Alright, I'm guessing this door. Hey, sneeze. Oh, here he is. Hitch! Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I sneezed. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, Ahem. are you okay? You clearing out your throat there, buddy? Where'd he go? Did he die? Uh, is that, Ahem. can you uh, come back? Sorry, <laughs> right, I'm having a sneezing fit. Bless you, thank you so much. <laughs> this game's a classic. Thank you, comedian, uh, bless you for saying bless you as well. Sorry. Let me just figure out if this is all of them. I have hay fever really bad, so I was uh, out this morning uh, at a shop and I must have sneezed like 10 times. And like after the first like three, this woman was like, bless you. And I was like, thanks. And like carried on. She's like, oh, bless you. And I was like, you don't, it's going to go for a while. Like, it's fine. <laughs> like, I could be here for at least another 20 sneezes. So, um, yeah, I think I'm good. Oh, I'm glad they got to you all right, Clayne. Yeah, I know that when, like, those of you that are a little bit further away, it might take a little bit longer to arrive, so I do apologize, but I'm glad that they got to you. Um, but yes, comedian, uh, failed comedian, this, uh, hello, by the way. But yeah, this game is an absolute classic. I freaking love it. Any Eurovision fans? Um, like, if it's on, then I might sort of give it a brief watch. But, um, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan. I'm not gonna be one that's like, ah, oh, yes, Eurovision, I got, I gotta go watch it, if you know what I mean. So... I can. Oh wow, he's really. Is there another room that I can go into? Did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. Yeah. Who should? Have won? <laughs> who should have won? Yes, let us know who should. I. I just kept seeing this guy in this like weird, crazy, like green half like crop top outfit with the black hair I, I have no idea who he is or what he's sung Come or anything on, like that but I just kept seeing that everyone was freaking out about this guy I think he was from like Russia or there. something hello chaos please was also good but not yes it's definitely not as good as this one but yeah chaos bleeds is also really good if we can somehow finish this one I'll definitely uh, play chaos bleeds because that's another one I never got to complete um, but yeah when I was a kid I was nine when this came out so I tried my best, Can't but it has player. some very, very difficult levels, and I never got to complete it as a kid, so... If we could complete it, that would be great. France was my fave. Oh! The only one I ever watched on, I think it was Eurovision, was that, that was that girl from... Oh, I don't know where she was from, but she was, she was like, the chicken song, she was like... Bah, 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 
Do you know what I was talking about? <laughs> and I actually really liked it. <laughs> I feel like a new slayer. It was so ridiculous that a band from my home city got ninth place in Eurovision. How does that happen? Not, I, I, I can never really tell what they're going for in Eurovision, to be honest. Because sometimes I'm like, that's amazing. And it's just like, no, it's never, it's never going to win. And I'm like, they're really good. Netta, yes. Bloody Israel. Hell, toy, yeah. I'm not your toy. Yeah, that one. I like that one. It's good. There. That's the only one I know. Help! Buffy's going to whip you good, Spike. You're going to regret bringing your new girlfriend to see your old stomping grounds. Shut your gob, witch. Shake my sodden girlfriend. <laughs> Lucky for you, the ritual requires live sacrifices to shut you up permanently. I'd shut you up all permanent, like. I'm not your toy. It's gonna be stuck in my head now. I'm not your toy. Hey, pointy wooden object. My, my best, best friend. friend. How do I get down without killing myself? Get ready to spill your guts. I always thought you said, get ready to spoil your guts, lady. But he actually says, honey. I'll give you the whole damn pie. Oh, holy moly. Yes! Go, Buck. Oh, you son of a bitch. I freaking hate that move. Boom, boom, boom. Back off, bitch. Tramp. Oh, I got the boo doo doo doo. How are you not dead yet? Nothing like a brisk walk in a spot of demon slaughter. Make a girl's night. What's Eurovision? <laughs> are you joking? Are you joking? I'm not from Liverpool. I'm a huge Liverpool fan. They really did well hosting this year. Oh, is that what it was? Interesting. One of my few gripes with the game, it repeats a lot. Yeah, it does. It, it does repeat a lot of the lines. Um, I don't know. I don't really have too much of a problem with it. But yeah, now that you've mentioned it, there is a lot of repeated lines. Um, my biggest issue is just, it's just. A Bitch, you are nowhere near me. Okay, well, now I've got to kill you. Yeah, I just don't like the um, the finicky controls. That's what annoys me. It's the jumping and the and the lack or lack thereof, I guess, and also the um, the unable to grab and again the the lack of um, lack of like direction that it gives you sometimes. Especially if you like missed something or you're not paying attention, you're like, crap, what am I supposed to do? And that it doesn't repeat itself. It was Sarko, okay, good. I was gonna say, Scott, I was like, you're living under a rock, dude. Even if you don't watch Eurovision, like, everyone talks about it. It's everywhere. Apparently, I'm going to need a plan B. There's so many, there's so many good ones. I do like the, um, you want a piece of me? I'll give you the whole damn pie. That is a good one. Uh, won't budge, ain't gonna happen. Fight. Oh, come on, I wanted to get you on that table leg. Get on the freaking table leg. Bitch. Tramp. Oh, okay. Just, just spoop, just, just, just kind of boop, boop into the table then. They really gave Buffy a full-on curb st Oh yeah, she full-on curb stomps people in this game, 100%. Okay, this is the area that pisses me off. The Collective were a good developer, the Indiana Jones game- Yeah, I enjoyed the Indiana Jones games. Revenge of the Sith wasn't too bad either. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. They had some really good games. Two of the Dragon Emperor. This is really good. But yeah, so they chuck this stuff. They freaking chuck some- fire into this building which is super annoying. Take this. It's the least I could do. Thanks. I think where is he? So you gotta jump onto this um ledge. But you get friggin' um they throw fire at you and it, it's 
pisses me off. The enemies have a bit of stun locking. Have a bit of stun locking the shitter. Yeah, that oh, I really Where is he? I think it's this next bit actually. That train is so loud. No, this. There we go. Right, so I'm gonna try and shoot this guy while I can. Oh! Lower down. Oh. A bit higher up, lower, higher, lower. There. There we go. So, yeah, so that bit's not too bad. This that bit's is fine. Town. But it's this bit. Because if you fall, it's like insta death. And I have to do this all over again. And it is. So. Eh. 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 Looks like an opportunity for a good wholesome, wholesome shimmy. shimmy. Okay, just don't let go, buff. Don't let go. If you got this, you got this. Why would a random dude be carrying vials? Yeah, why would he just have r random vials of hellfire on him? I mean, like, there's a lot of weird people in Sunnydale. So, I mean, he could be, I guess he could be, like, a witch. Warlock. Like, but yeah, it does seem weird that he's like, here, have this. <laughs> like, why do you have this, dude? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. There's so many trains, I know. <laughs> it's, like, constant. Every five seconds, a train is going past. So loud. I hope you guys can still hear me. Right. Now where are we going? Down this ladder. Good. Yeah, because in my head, in my ears, it's super loud. So I'm hoping you guys can still hear me over this train that is going past every five seconds. Right, here we go. Right, we didn't die on that bit, so that's good. That's good. The amount of times I died on that bit when I was playing through this recently, because I just had no idea how to friggin' do it, um, was embarrassing. <laughs> You called her buff. I do. Yeah, I do call her. I'm a true Scooby. I know. I know. I'm part of the Scooby gang. Part of the Scooby gang. I do love Xander as well. I think that like the fact that he calls her buff is just adorable. Oh, a cemetery. Perfect. Exactly where I want to be. You're new. Not to mention hideous. Somebody it is a such a fantastic show. <laughs> what? No fearsome words about how I'm going to die in agony or that I shall rue the day that I crossed your path? I still can't Speak believe this now. isn't Sarah Michelle Gellar. Your... Okay, you're fast. <laughs> Got me through the 90s, same. 100%. And now with one of the statues moved. Jewelry. What's up with that? Oh, now that's just rude. Now that's just rude. I imagined an angel game. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. I mean, Angel is in this one, which is pretty cool. When I saw him, I was like, oh, Angel! Because again, I was definitely more of a um, uh, Spike person, Spike fan. More of a Spike gal. Um, but yeah, it was uh, cool when I played this route because I never got to the level like of, of even meeting Angel. So I was like, oh, Angel! The zombies are super annoying in this game. Super annoying. There we go. Open world game where you just go around solving Showtime. supernatural mysteries. Yes, like Hello Noir. Yes. But like supernatural. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Or a supernatural game. <gasps> They all need to be in the same universe. They need like a, a, a some sort of like supernatural LA Noir, but it's just in the same universe as like, so you've got like Buffy and the Scooby Gang, and then you've got Sam and Dean Winchester doing all their shit, and then you've got Angel doing their shit. It's just like, yeah, that'd be so cool. Oh, I didn't really need to do that for you, did I? All this Team Edward or Team Jacob now. It's yeah, Team Spike or Team... If you really want to know what vampires we were fighting over, they're, they're the only ones worth fighting over. I mean, I know that Jacob wasn't a, a vampire, but you know what I mean. 
Yeah, they weren't both fighting one over. Team Jacob or Team Edward? Just like, no, ew, gross. Team Spike or Team Angel? Because I, I always remember being Team Spike, and then my best friend was Team Angel, and I was like, cool. <laughs> you have him. <laughs> I'm good. And Constantine? See, I never watched Constantine. Everyone keeps telling me that they're like, Kirsten, you should watch Constantine. It's like right up your alley. I really need to. Plus, it's Keanu Reeves. I mean, I know the. the... No, yeah, because he played Constantine in the movie, right? But uh, I know in the. He doesn't look like Keanu Reeves in the <laughs> comics and stuff, but yeah, I definitely need to. Um, really need to watch Constantine. Constantine. Die already! Shovels are... Oh, I just picked up that shovel, dude. Come on now. Stop making me drop my shovel. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to kill you with it. <laughs> Jacob or Edward, are you open. team emo or team furry? I'm sorry. It's wait. When was that a thing? Are they being wait? They're being compared to each other, emos and furries. I mean, you know, to each their own. Do what you gotta do. As long as you're not hurting yeah, anyone. But so. I mean. I probably, There's if I'm gonna go for one of them, I'd probably go for emos, because emos are still pretty hot in my book, to be honest. I was, a, I'm a former emo, so I always found that look pretty, pretty hot. That's how I, how I met my partner. He was, he's also a former emo, so I was just always like, oh, he's so hot. He can't see anything with his hair. <laughs> Matt Ryan in the tag show. An open world game set in the Evil Dead universe would be good. Yeah, that would be really good, actually. There is an Evil Dead game, though, isn't it? I mean, I've not played it, but... I think that's the only thing with, I think, a lot of these games is that... The idea is okay, but I just think it's not executed properly, and it's just like, mm, could have been good, but... Emo... Oh, I see. Emo Furry is like the... Tw oh, I see. Right. Okay. Yeah, actually, I didn't even, I didn't even get that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even get that reference, but you're right, because he's a werewolf, and yeah, that's that's fair enough. But I wouldn't say Edward was an emo, because he doesn't look like an emo. He's just sad. Like, when, when I think emo, I think, like, the emo fashion, not just being emotional and depressed. Yeah, d Jacob's just... not Jacob. Edward's just a sad boy, and he's just a bit, like, miserable and, like, boring. <laughs> he's not really an emo, he's just... he's just... Sad. Oh, Constantine the TV show. Matt Ryan played Constantine. Oh, okay. Woo! Big boom. Die already. Jesus Christ. I was a goth in my teens. We were primo. <laughs> primo. Get primo. They don't. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that's. I mean, I must admit, I, I've watched. Uh, I think the first one. My mum is a huge fan of like Harry Potter, Twilight and stuff. She's really into that sort of stuff. Which, as a horror fan, I'm like, mother, come on. Like, she got me into horror and then she watches like Harry Potter. Like, nothing wrong with Harry Potter or the Twilight series, but just it's not for me. It's just a bit too like tame for me. Um, so I was always like, mother, like, come on. You call yourself a horror fan? You're always watching Twilight. Um, but yeah, she was a big fan of them. But um, I, yeah, I remember watching the first one because I was like, oh, vampires. And then like when I saw them twinkling, I was like, these are vampires. What are you doing? Um, but the, the, the baseball scene is pretty epic. Plus the fact that they had... Um, what's the song? It's like, you got me on a da, 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 da. Oh, baby, I'm a fool for you. What's, uh, what's that band called? I can't believe that David Slade directed one of the Twilight movies, but also directed the oh, 30 Days of Night is fantastic. It's one of my favorite vampire movies. So good. It's crazy how Harry Potter wasn't written by anyone. Wait, it wasn't written by anyone? Did JK Rowling not write? Did she not write it? Or are we just pretending that she doesn't exist at this point? Oh ho ho! Supermassive Flight Muse, yes, thank you. That's the one. Who? Who is that? Who? Who is that? Who are you talking about here? She does not. She does not exist. The rider you're looking for. The, no, these are not the riders you're looking for. Get out of here! You're not kicking him, Buff. You're just. 
There we go. There we go. Have you seen the movie Hard Candy? Uh, is that the one with e Elliot like a Page? A spot of and... Oh, we love him, guys. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? It's Elliot Page, is it? Elliot Page and the guy from uh, Insidious. We like him. We like him. He's hot. He's hot. What's, his, what's he called? If that's the one you're talking about, then yes. Gotta take off start on the weekend early and gotta go out drinking. Enjoy your time. Thank you so much, Scarlett. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Enjoy drinking. Patrick Wilson. I was gonna say I was, I was like, it's Wilson something. Will something. Yeah. Elliot. Page and Patrick Wilson, right? I'm pretty sure. Hard Candy? Yeah. Yeah, it's a fantastic movie. Really, really good. To be honest, I have seen most movies with Elliot Page in because I had a I had a big crush on him before he even like transitioned. So yeah, uh I, I've just I'm a big fan of him in general, so I, I still think it's hot. <laughs> he hasn't changed in my book. Still fancy the pants off him. Best vampire road movie was Near Dark with Bill Paxton. I've never seen it. That's my um don't you can't hit me with a shovel. That's not how it works. <laughs> Bitch. Let the right one in. I yeah, see I really enjoyed Let the Right One In, but I don't know if this is my favourite vampire movie in my book, to be honest. I loved Interview with Vampire. Blade, yeah. I think Blade's definitely my favourite vampire franchise. Um, I loved Interview with Vampire as a kid as well. Oh my goodness, Brad Pitt as a vampire. Oh, something about Brad. I, I'm not a Brad Pitt fan. Um, he doesn't really do it for me, but Brad Pitt as a vampire, as um, as Louis. Oh my god, just something about that that I just it, it definitely tickled my fancy. Tickled my fancy. Plus, the uh, interview of the vampire is um, a really great franchise. I've read all of the books and they're really good. I don't know what I did with them actually. I had the whole book, like, I had a big collection of the books, but I love my fancy tickled. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't tickle my fancy. Why was my fancy not tickled? Nice. Oh, that was like a proper like curb a stomp. Jesus. Oh, for God's sake. Never ending. Yeah, I must have been... I think this is the part of the game that I was started to get a little bit like, ugh. Because it is just like a never ending onslaught of zombies, which usually I'm okay with, but it just gets a bit repetitive. It's like, just let me go. You fight like Anne Rice. Wait, is that a quote from something? I like Anne Rice. I think she's really good at writing vampire books. God. They did a new TV version, but I think it came. Oh, yeah, no, I did hear about it, but I, yeah, I wasn't interested in it. You can't beat the original Tom Cruise and um, Brad Pitt version. It's so good. Yeah. Woo! Mama. There we go. And my quote is from this. Oh, right, okay. I don't get what that means though, you fight like Anne Rice, is that, I, did she fight as well? I know it's 100 years old, but not surprised he might be the scariest, if not the most eerie. See, I've never seen, like, he's definitely the creepiest looking, don't get me wrong. But I ne I've never probably seen Nosferatu, I need to, but yeah, he definitely, like, set the standard, I think, for um, a lot of the vampire movies that we have today. I know there was a lot of stuff that, like, didn't really exist about, sort of, vampires, you know what I mean, like, the lore of vampires at the time, and... He introduced um, the Nosferatu film, like introduced a lot of really cool stuff. Um, but I still haven't, yeah, I still haven't, um, I haven't watched Nosferatu. Uh, Nosferatu. Wasn't it like banned or something, or they weren't allowed to show it, like the original, like proper full cut or whatever? I think the one that they, that is out isn't like what it should have been, if you know what I mean. I feel like I've done some lists about it for Watch Rojo, and uh, they always talk about how like. They weren't allowed to show it or something. Maybe it means you fight like an old woman. Or <laughs> possibly. So I don't imagine her as an old woman. But that, that would make a lot more sense. Let them eat steak. Oh, come on. 
Stabby stab. Stabby stab. Aha, uh -huh, you got hurt by the blue mist. It's from a fight between Jonathan Franzen and Michael Chabon at a writer's festival. Ah, oh, right. That makes a lot more sense. I was going to say, like, out of context, I'm just like, I don't understand. <laughs> when he keeps flickering the lights, does he do that? I, I know that they, like, take the mick out of that in, like, movies and stuff. But is that something he genuinely does as he flickers the lights? A sparkly thingy. Love he had some great big bads, but I feel like the master always gets left out. He was such a good villain. Yeah, yeah that's why I think it's quite good about this one, because, like... It's supposed to be, oh, he's come back. He's come back from the dead and stuff. And, um, how did I get that menu up before? Ah, here we go. Um, yeah, I like that they bring the master back in this one. But it's weird, because it's like, I kind of remember him, but, like, I think there's so many episodes. Again, I need to, definitely after this, I need to go back and start binge watching. I think all of us guys, we need to make a pact as a zombie horde, is that after this stream is over, all just need to either go, like if you're not going to bed, Colleen, I'm talking to you. If you're not going to bed, go and binge watch uh, the Buffy series after this if you can, because it's such a fantastic series. And then next time when we come into this, we can all be like, I started binge watching it and I got to this episode and I remember, yeah, because I, I need to remind myself of a lot of these like big bads and characters and things, because it's like, yeah, I mean, I've definitely binge watched it a couple of times, but. I think I need to do it again and just try and pay a bit more attention because I feel like there's definitely some episodes I've not fully absorbed. Um, and I definitely haven't seen that very last episode. I think I must have seen bits and pieces of it, but not properly watched that very last episode. I have a Lost binge watch planned. Oh, nice, Scott. I never really got into Lost. Never really got into Lost. Okay, I'm going to just take a quick pee break. So feel free to do the same, guys. I will be very quick. So um, bear with me one second. Enjoy this ominous music. Um, and yeah, let me know uh, while I'm, well, talk about this in the chat. Um, what is your favorite uh, TV show from the 90s? If not, if it's not Buffy. If it is Buffy, then I completely understand. But if it's not Buffy, what was your favorite? Because I never watched Lost. I never got into Lost. Um, but yeah, I was definitely like Buffy and Charmed was like my favorite favorite shows to just I had to watch it every time it was on every time I had that song I was there I had to watch it so what was yours what was yours while I'm I'm peeing I should probably switch to my BIB There we go. Oh, I always forget to move this back. You can see my disgusting messy room now. <laughs> uh, amazingly, I did actually organize my room today. That is all my cosplay stuff in the background there that you just saw. Okay, let's see. What did we have? What did we have? Hey, Joe, how's it going? Um, where are we? Lost had to have been there with it at the time. Yeah, I think I watched like the first, like I remember my mum enjoying watching uh, Lost and I got like, I watched like a couple of it, but I was like, as she was watching it, I didn't, I kind of joined late, if you know what I mean. So she's trying to explain it to me and I was like, I have no idea, I've, I've missed too much of it. I needed to be there, like I said, from the beginning at the time and I just completely missed it. Master was main villain in season one was also in the episode The Wish where Cordelia wished that Buffy had never come to Sunnydale so the Master took over. So yeah, I, d I feel like I don't remember any of those episodes at all. Hello, Joe. How are you doing today, my friend? Art Attack. Oh my God, Art Attack was so good. That was another one that was like every single time. Even if it was on now, I'd be sitting down and be like, yes, I'm watching Art Attack. The Queen's Nose. Oh, <laughs> failed comedian. The Queen's Nose was so 
good that was such and was it bernard's watch did you ever watch bernard's watch as well that was such a good show oh what i would give to have bernard's watch um but it would be buffy or the sopranos nice I was so confused because I was like, how does the Buffy game have the Resident Evil inventory screen? <laughs> That's me. That's me. Working tonight, unfortunately, so I won't be starting it tonight. Ah, oh, Scott. That's a shame. Anyways, right. Sorry. Let's get back. Where are we? Oh, well, I was on the right screen. Uh, oh, so I need to see how long. Okay. I'm going to play it for a little bit longer. And then we will uh, call it a night until we can get back to it again. But... Uh, what am I doing? There we go. I'm fine. I'm good, thank you, Joe. I'm good. We're just reminiscing about fantastic 90s shows, so let us know what uh, some of your favourites were. Have a plan for a TV show collaboration? Let us know. Let us know. This way, buff. There we go. You got it. Whoa! Double whammy. Nice. I feel like a new slayer. I feel like a new slayer. Ooh, Stargate was my fave 90s show. Nice. X-Files is also up there. I watched a couple of X-Files. Um, but yeah, the music for... I think it was X-Files um, creeped me out as a kid, so I didn't watch it. <laughs> but I think it was one of those shows that if I watched now, I'd really enjoy. Nothing like a brisk walk and a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Nice. Holy water. Nice. I don't leave home without it. The Infinity Gems. A villain like Thanos trying to collect all the CBBC items of power. 50p from the Queen's Node, Bernice Watch, and Williams Wish Wellingtons. Ah! Yes. Yes. Bring them all together and you just have, like, ultimate power. <laughs> X-Files had some hits and misses, but had some awesome episodes. Yeah, I've, my dad loved X-Files. That was another one that I was going to be... Um, it, was either a, it was either a character from Star Trek, which I, I still... I always remember... I always forget what she was called. Um, it was either a character from Star Trek or I was going to be named after... Um, I was going to be called Dana um, because they liked it from the X-Files and also from Ghostbusters. Um, but they had settled on Kirsten in the... I didn't even know where they got the, the name from. Like, I can understand, like, like sort of hearing these names on TV shows, but I don't think they would have heard my name on any show at that point, so... I don't know where they got it from. The Weakest Link was fun. Yeah. It was always a fun one to watch. In Polish version, it was run by a feminist woman, and she was so mean to all of the men who were... Uh, I mean, even in the UK version, she was mean to everybody. She was really mean to everybody. I'm pretty sure you should just call people idiots on a daily basis. You want a piece of me? Dana is better than the smoking man, I would say. As a name. Love Dex Files, watching it now because I watched it with my parents when I was a kid. Yes. Kill me if you can, Slayer. I will if I can figure out where they are. There you are. There you are. Oh, blimey. Between you and me, yeah, like a big CBBC, like, CBBC, assemble! <laughs> Actually, uh, I saw something earlier, and it was, like, from, um, uh, these, like, two, ch like, ch not child actors, but, like, ch uh, children's entertainers. So it was the guy that plays the new Blippi, not the original Blippi, um, and then a woman. I don't know who she is. I don't know if she's from another, like, show. But they were talking about, like, oh, do you ever, like, slip into character accidentally when you're out? And, um... The guy's like, no, that's silly. And he like says it in the Blippi voice. And I was like, oh my God, that's Blippi. And then the woman says something, but I don't know what she said. And I was like, but I didn't recognize her. But that's what you need is you need like Blippi and like the Wiggles and um, like the tweenies and all this, like just assembling. <laughs> like I know Blippi wasn't CBBC, but like, you need all these like children's entertainers like um, assembling to collect the Wish Wellingtons and... Bernard's watch and stuff. It'd be so good. Where does the rear part come in? I don't know. My mum wanted to... Uh, so my mum always liked the rear part. I don't know where she got it from, but she always liked the rear part anyway. Um, and they liked the name Dana. And so they wanted... My mum was like, adamant, like, no, she needs her... Like, her middle name needs to be Rhea. Oh, no, she wanted my first name to be Rhea. My dad didn't like it as much. So they settled it on, like, she has to have it as a middle name. Um, 
And again, they wanted me, my name to be Dana, but then my mum was convinced that if my name was Dana Rhea, then it like kind of sounds like diarrhea. <laughs> and so she just was like, very forward thinking on my mum's part because she was like 100% she's gonna be bullied for that. Um, and I'm not having that. So um, yeah, so they settled on Kirsten in the end. Um, but yeah, like, can I just say brilliant forward thinking from my mum? Because I feel like there are a lot of parents out there that when you hear their kids' names, it's like, how did you not hear that? You know what I mean? Like, you'll have like, um, I'm trying to think of like, like, you know, it'd be like Dick Hurts or something, or like Richard Hurts, but everyone calls him Dick. And you're just like, you've got to think about these things when you're a parent, because it's like, even if they're like, oh, no one will just won't call him Dick, you know, we'll call him Richard. And, you know, it's like, no. 100% like someone is going to call him Dick Hurts, you know what I mean? It's like you have to think about these things. So yeah, some really brilliant forward thinking on my mum's part there. Oh, you bastard. What if he accidentally slips into character on a date? Yeah. You really do have a unique Santa name. Thank you. Oh, I don't like it when he does a little Bad sound. Up. I feel bad. And right, where are bad. you? It's so annoying. When they just crawl around like this, it's so annoying. No, Buffy. There we go. Shubberin, thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing today? Kirsten's great. Thank you, guys. Just got... Oh, Bodger and Badger. Bodger and Badger. Bodger and Badger. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Bodger and Badger. Da, 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 da. I don't remember that last, what that last bit is, but oh my god. Mashed potato. <laughs> Buffy, Classic. This way, hurry. Gotta go to sleep. Cavalry's it's been a long day traveling back from Clacton on sea. No problem, Jordan. Hard, Hope you have a great Cavalry's stream. Coming. Hope you have a fantastic evening. Get some sleep, Jordan. Get some rest. Remember seeing the band X-Files episode oh, home down. was messed up? What happened? Why was it banned? Bam, 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 bam. Boom. Yes. I feel like a new slayer. Buffy is not on the menu. Everybody knows Badger, lo Badger loves mashed potatoes. Oh, yes. I love mashed potatoes. I'm a bit of a badger, to be honest. I do love mashed potato. Like, when I have a curry, I actually really love having curry with mashed potato. I'm not too big of a fan of rice. So, yeah, I always enjoy curry with some mashed, pota mashed potato. Where's this music come from? Okay, I think we're realizing that punches works a lot better for the zombies. We need to remember that. <laughs> never watched X-Files, but I saw the episode Mr. Tombs scared the shit out. Yeah, see, I never really watched X-Files. Because, again, even the um, the um, theme song for X-Files really creeped me out as a kid. And, uh, like, aliens and things, really, out of all the things that I watched as a kid, um, like, you know, vampires and werewolves hey, and zombies and things that like didn't scare me, but aliens really creeped me out. Aliens hey, and things like that, Buffy, that, that scared me. Um, because vampire. in my mind, that seemed more probable than the other things, so that really creeped me Whoa. out. And, um, yeah, so I really didn't enjoy, like, whenever my dad would watch it, I would literally, like, run upstairs and be like, oh, like, I hated hearing the music because I would just be like, ah, aliens, it just creeped me out. You just Fancy subject matter. Oh, hillbilly incest. Jesus Christ. Slayer. A limbless mother under a bed. Jesus Christ. Deformed fetuses. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And that tattoo. Come on, dominatrix. screams biker slut. Like, did any of you guys watch um, Goosebumps? I feel like Goosebumps was kind of like X-Files for kids. But um, I really loved Goosebumps. There's a few, like, 
Like, my daughter also loves, like, creepy things, which I think is she definitely gets from me. <laughs> Same as how I got it from my mother. But, um, she sort of asks to watch some things sometimes when I'm watching stuff, and I'm like, no, 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 you can't, like, you can't, this is too much, like, this is too freaky for you. I don't want to scar you poor child. Um, and my partner mentioned uh, Goosebumps the other day, and I was like, yeah, I'm sure she'd really like it, but, like, I can't just sit her down and have her watch Goosebumps because I know for a fact there is a few episodes of Goosebumps that are genuinely creepy, even to watch as an adult. And, yeah, I, she just, <laughs> I don't need to, like, scar the poor girl for life. So, um, yeah, I think when she's a little bit older, I'll introduce her to Goosebumps, and that'll be, like, you know, getting her ready for horror movies, you know? Horrible Histories was also really good. Left of them. Come on, I want to get you out of here. What about the others? I'll come back for them, but I'm gonna need to be better armed if I have to deal with the order and my spooky, slippery little new zombie making friend. Yeah, Freddy Krueger scared me. Like, he didn't give me nightmares, but it was just the fact that it was like the fact that he would get you in your nightmares, like in your dreams. I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to deal with that. <laughs> Goosebumps is your ringtone? That's awesome. Um, the first episode, what's the first horror film that you remember watching? Um, probably Alien, I think. Um, because again, my mum knew that I was into like horror stuff, so she was very good in, like sometimes I'd come in and I'd be like, what are you watching? She'd be like, I'm watching this horror film. And I'd be like, can I watch it? And she would let me know if it was like acceptable for me to watch, um, considering like how little I was. <laughs> um, so Alien was alien like the alien franchise alien and aliens was ones they were the ones that i remember watching first because i think my mom was like yeah i think you could probably deal with this because it was like a lot of gore and like you know the xenomorph was pretty creepy but i don't think it was too like traumatizing i guess because it was like ah evil alien um so yeah I, that was probably the first ones i watched when i was like quite little um but yeah, there was definitely a couple that like, I don't I mean, I don't remember what they were, but there was a few times where I'd come in and be like, what are you watching? And she'd be like, nope, nope, don't, you know, get out. Like, you can't watch this one. This is like too scary for you. I think this is going to like really like traumatize you. So um, yeah, it was only as I got old, like the exorcist and things like my mum wouldn't let me watch that. Um, she was like, no, I don't think you'll like that at all. And I'm never, I still haven't watched it. I still haven't watched the exorcist. So yeah. Daniel, thank you so much for being subscribed for 27 months. How are you doing today, my friend? Um, but yeah, so Alien and Aliens were like my, my first sort of ones that I sort of watched. Viewers, beware, you're in for a scare. Are you afraid of the dark? Yes, they were very good for the day. But like I said, like even though they were for, they were for kids, I think they were definitely for older kids, not the younger kids. So, um... Yeah, like, I just think there's definitely, like, there's the, there was the, the chowder one was really creepy with, like, the chowder monster, and there's, like, the horror park that they went to, that was kind of a scary one, but even, like, the first, is it the first episode is the one with the mask? That's, like, one of the scariest episodes I've ever seen, it's so freaking creepy. Um, and then there's also the one where the, the people, and they have the, the, um, they have faces at the back of their heads terrifying freaking terrifying to watch that as a kid like it's supposed to be scary but i don't want it to be like so scary that she's then just yeah traumatized tales from the crypt yeah loved tales from the crypt he made it into my dreams saw child's play when i was five or so been hooked on horror yeah i, I love I, I only seen the first one um but that was one of the ones that my mum wouldn't let me watch so i only saw that recently um, but yeah, that was one of the ones that my mum was like, nope, you're not watching that. Like, that's gonna freak you out. Evil Dead with my friends when I was nine and it terrified me. Yeah, I remember watching the original It with Tim Curry when I was at my my boyfriend's house. Uh, when I was very little. I say boyfriend, it's like when you were like, will you be my boyfriend? But he wasn't, you know what I mean. Um, he was my best friend, but like, we kept sort of like, every now and then it'd be like, will you be my boyfriend? And he was like, yeah. Um, and yeah, he showed me It once. Uh, cause he had it on VHS and, um, yeah, that scared the crap out of me. And I was like, nope, don't like, but I also had a phobia of clowns. So that was why it scared me. Um, but I actually don't enjoy the original. I think it was really boring, the Tim Curry one. Um, and it's not scary at all for me. Um, but at the time when I had a phobia of clowns and a fear of clowns, uh, I was like, nope, can't be doing with this. This is terrifying. So, um... Yeah, that was the, probably the one of the only horror films that I really watched as a kid that scared me. Most of the violence in Alien was off screen. Yeah, exactly. It was, it's more like it's gore, really. And I can, I can deal with gore. It's fine. It's become your new favorite horror movie. Nice. 
Someone once told me the Crypt Keeper was played by Kirk Douglas and I believed it, but it was just a joke about how old he was. <laughs> nice. Oops. Oh gosh. Apart from Tim Curry, the acting was pretty... Yeah, it just... I mean, I know it's, it's an old film, you know what I mean? It was like, what, 80s, 80s sort of thing. So the, the acting was never going to be great. But I just thought it was just... It just seemed... It was just boring. It just It's like uh, The Shining. I never really enjoyed The Shining um, because it was just... It didn't seem like a lot really happened and it was just really boring. I'm sure I'd probably appreci appreciate it a little bit more now as a sort of a horror lover sort of thing. And I appreciate the nostalgia and all that sort of stuff of it. And I have a different appreciation for it. But I don't think that it was scary. Like I guess I just thought it was boring. So he makes the movie, yes. Yeah, in pretty much every movie he makes the movie. Army of Darkness and Living Dead with my favorite zombie styles. Nice. Right, I'm going to leave. Oh, I've got hiccups. Because I think we're at a save point. Um, I'm going to talk with these guys quickly. But yeah, just to make sure it definitely saves. But I will leave it uh, here I believe for we next need to time. Your combat skills. Please because study the I could play this all night very on easily. <laughs> Got it. Let the augmentation begin. As long as it doesn't require surgery. R. And then down, down, X. Ooh. Ground defense. Oh. Oh, like this? Okay, interesting. Dead Eye Zombie. Yeah, I guess it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because Army of Darkness, like, I guess they're kind of... They look like zombies, but they are, like, possessed, aren't they? They're Deadites. They're sort of more demons. Yeah, there's, like... They definitely look like zombies. They're, like, zombie-style monsters, but I, I think they are busy, supposed to be possessed. By the strength of the emanation of Godala and Godala. the glory of Hecate, let that of mine be that of thine. Let the vitality held within be now released, transferred to thee. Wow, <laughs> what a rush. Thanks, Will. I'm not saying they're zombies, I'm just hey, saying they look, it's like with all the, the skin peeling while, off, so they look, look like, like the, the undead. Right Xander, I don't know what to but say. But I know that they're not, I know I they're like possessed. Myself, thanks to that Halloween stint as an army grad. Nico Ninja, thank you so much for the follow, how are you doing today? You look lovely today, brother. Thank you, Turtle, I appreciate that, how are you doing? You do know your way around a slayer's heart. What a gun, yes. What are you doing just standing here? You have to save our tight end. We need him for the game and for my morale. On the other hand, that skank slut hitting on him at the bronze, strictly optional. <laughs> Apparently, I'm going to need a plan B. Apparently, I'm going to need a plan B. Uh, I didn't like Xander in the beginning. He kind of like peer pressures Buffy into dating her. He kind of like peer pressured Buffy into dating her. Dating who? Oh, wait, what? Yeah, no, I think the thing is, in the 90s and stuff, there's sometimes even when you watch back, like even just them, like when she's like calling people like sluts and tramps because of like they're sleeping with like a few different guys and like because of like what they're wearing and where their tattoos are, like that's just n wouldn't happen today. Do you know what I mean? It was a completely different um, way of thinking back then and so yeah so there was there's always gonna be some episodes in like um old 90s shows where you're like oh i don't know <laughs> only kidding i like how people get annoyed when someone calls infected in 28 days later zombies yeah like i they, like but they are though right yeah it's like how people get annoyed yeah but it's like when they go oh, they're not you know they're not zombies and all but they are though because it's like they get infected with a virus and they're like oh it's rage and it's like yeah i know they're infected with the rage but they're also like technically like they're not like they're kind of like not brain dead but you know what i mean like they're not themselves so like i always think my definition of a zombie is either someone who's died and come back to life and they like eat people and all that sort of stuff or is someone who is like you know, it's like not yourself, you know, and they're just kind of like going around doing things that they wouldn't normally do as a person. Like they're not like human anymore. And like, yeah, so it's just, I feel like, I don't know, it'd be interesting to see like if there's an actual definition of zombie. Shall I look it up? I loved Faith. Is she, <laughs> is she in here? I don't think she's in this one. She might be in Chaos Bleeds. I don't really remember, but I don't think she is in this one. Um, but yeah, let me see if there's like an actual um, definition as to what a zombie is. I'm interested to see what is the definition of a zombie. 
So, okay, let's come up with the definition for a drink. It says a, co a cocktail consisting of several kinds of rum, liquor, and uh, fruit juice. Nice. Um, so it says here that a zombie is a corpse said to be revived by witchcraft, especially in, in certain African-American religions. But it says here, so what classifies as a zombie? Yeah, okay, so this is what I mean. So this is where I think think of a zombie is a willless and speechless human in voodoo belief and fictional stories held said to have died or have been supernaturally reanimated supernatural power that according to voodoo belief may enter into a reanimated body dead body a person to resemble the so-called walking dead especially an automaton automaton um but yeah so the fact that he said like a willless slash speak like it's doing something against their will do you know what i mean it's like you're it's like when you say oh sorry i'm a bit, I'm a bit of a zombie today it's like you're just kind of like kind of floating by and just kind of like you know you've lost the will to live do you know what i mean like that's where i think of like a zombie so it can be from like an infection from rage like um some sort of like virus or a parasite, do you know what I mean? Like, that's when they say when you get these people, like you get the those like parasite bugs and they infect other bugs and um, you know, they might not be dead, but they're not um, themselves. They're, they're being controlled by something else, whether that is a parasite or a virus or something, you know, or rage. And that's what in my head I think of as a zombie is it's something else is controlling them, making these do these things that um, they wouldn't normally do. Faith in chaos, please, and she gets her own note. Oh, nice. Okay, so we need to. We definitely need to try and complete this then, so that we can get through to uh, playing chaos bleeds. Apparently, Jason from Friday. Oh yeah, I've been hearing a lot about this, about how he's a, a dead eye. I think that's really interesting. Frankenstein could be considered a zombie. Yeah, he's a reanimated corpse. I think he technically is kind of like a zombie, but I guess he comes. It's re is it reanimated or he does actually come back to life? Like he's not like still dead. He comes back to life. Like he is a proper like living thing isn't he but yeah i think it could technically be considered a, as a zombie very first zombie is a zombie film it's 1942 yes i've heard about white zombie yeah based on the haitian myths where people were drugged and used as laborers where people were drugged <laughs> unless i'm mistaken almost all zombie movies were voodoo related until night of the living dead yeah that's what it says there it's all like a it was mainly to do with uh, voodoo rituals and voodoo beliefs which is really interesting very interesting I like that. That's cool. But there you go. So that's why when they say, oh, it's, they're not zombies, it's rage. And it's like, but they're being controlled by something else. They've lost their will. Like, they've lost, like, the free will. The will of being able to control them, their body themselves. And they're being controlled by something else, which is the rage. And so in my mind, I see that as a zombie. So... But there you go. So that was Buffy the Vampire Slayer, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing another stream tomorrow morning. Um, but uh, let me know if you guys want me to carry on playing uh, Fatal Frame. Obviously, we've not completed that yet, but it's getting incredibly difficult. So let me know if you want me to continue playing Fatal Frame and try and get through that. Or if you want me to continue playing Buffy. Because I'm happy to do either. But uh, Fatal Frame is getting incredibly difficult. Um, I got stuck last time and I realized that uh, I had to do something very simple after the stream when I looked it up and I was like that's annoying um, but I don't think we have too much longer to go I think we are getting near the end that's why it's getting uh, really difficult so maybe we'll try and finish that tomorrow I'll let you guys know but either way I will be streaming tomorrow at about uh, 11 30 for a few a couple of hours so um, that'll be good so if you want to join me please do um, if you haven't already and you are new here because I know there are a few of you that are new here let me oh gosh is that gonna work because it's in capitals Yes. So these are all my socials. Um, I do a variety of different horror games on here, but I also do a, horror, a bunch of cosplay and horror content over on my YouTube and Instagram. Um, YouTube I don't post to as much, but I'm trying to be better with getting uh, clips and uh, edited down videos of these streams onto there. So if you do miss anything, please subscribe to my YouTube. It will be on there. But I also do uh, reels and all sorts of stuff on my Instagram. I do have a TikTok, but I don't really use it. Uh, but my main ones are, um, thank you, Sol Ray. My main ones are Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that. So please feel free to follow me on all that sort of stuff because I do some pretty cool stuff. I do short films and I do cosplays and a lot of them are, I try to do horror related stuff. Um, but uh, if you do ever want to 
send me a commission a cosplayer have a gift app there's a bunch of cosplays on there so you can browse through if you want to um send me any of those or if you had want to commission anything let me know and i can add it to the list um yes i also do have a patreon stretch oh no you're raiding me just as i'm finishing but thank you so much for the raid hello stretch thank you so much um i will give you a shout out um i'm literally just finishing up myself um but thank you so much how are you doing welcome on in the <laughs> Varagians. uh minecraft nice a little bit of minecraft Welcome on in Raiders. Hello, my name is Kirsten Ria. I am a horror variety streamer. I have been playing some Buffy the Vampire Slayer today, but unfortunately I'm just finishing up, so I'm so, so sorry. But I will be streaming tomorrow morning, uh, British Standard Time at 11.30. And uh, I know, great timing. I'm so sorry, Stretch. Um, but I will be streaming again tomorrow at 11.30 British Standard Time, um, playing some Fatal Frame. Um, hopefully trying to see if we can finish the game because it's getting incredibly difficult. But if you do want to check out my other stuff, I have just shared my socials. Um, so you can follow me on Instagram and YouTube and all that sort of stuff if you want to see any of the other stuff. But thank you so much for the raid anyway. Uh, hopefully you can raid me again or I can raid you back at a closer time when we're actually in the game so i do apologize um but thank you so much anyway and thank you so much for the follow uh Ro rowan rowan thank you so much i appreciate that um yeah thank you <laughs> sorry it's like right at the end right at the end of the stream but i'm glad that you had a good stream i hope it was a good one feel free to to go off and and rest and hydrate and eat and sleep or whatever you need to do i appreciate it nonetheless Spooky QT, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Hopefully you guys can come back to, uh, tomorrow to actually see me properly play a game. Um, time to cook dinner. Yes, go eat, Stretch. Go eat. I'm going to go and do the same thing. Um, thank you anyway, Stretch. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed uh, playing Minecraft. I love a bit of Minecraft. Um, but yes, I'll be streaming again tomorrow, guys, with some Fatal Frame. Trying to get through that, complete that. And then once that's done, we can move on to the next one, which is Maiden of Blackwater, which will be another one we can go through and complete. And once that's done, uh, we'll still be doing Retro Tuesdays, hopefully on Tuesdays. I know it's, a, it's on a Thursday today. I'm sorry, but I missed Tuesday. Um, so we will be doing more Buffy. Don't you worry. I will be completing this game, and then we'll go through Chaos Bleeds. And there are so many awesome games that I have to share with you guys from the 90s and just old i said 90s the 2000s um just just old retro games that make you feel good you know what i mean it just fills your heart with joy <laughs> so look after yourselves guys stay spooky stay hydrated stay safe look after yourselves and uh have a good one and i hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow bye